Okay, hello, hello, hello. Can people hear me? Can people hear the mic? I think we're just about good to go, if people can hear me. So if somebody in the chat would be so kind, 
Mr. Cutter. Yes, that is the plan. Um, I haven't tested it, so this is going to be new for all of us. It works slightly different to the way Mortal Kombat worked with crowd play, but we're going to go for it. Okay, so thank you, Nishant, for confirming that you can hear me. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Juggernaut Live! This is the main event of the evening! It's me! Jada. Hello, how's it going people? How'd you like my helmet? Yes, we are going to be playing Super Bomberman R online today. Hopefully with crowdplay. Um, unfortunately, while the original plan for Super Bomberman R was supposedly that everyone would get to play crowdplay from day one, um, I got an email at about midnight last night saying that it's only available in early access and would I be interested in checking it out. I did intend to do it anyway. But um, but yeah, it seems like it isn't quite ready for prime time, but we get to enjoy it on this channel because we've been testing Mortal Kombat. We've been testing Crowdplay for a while. Um, Google really like the feedback that we've been getting from the players that have been playing Crowdplay on my channel. So they said, hey, let's give it a go. Let's um, let's let Juggernaut keep the keep the Crowdplay. Um, we can use him for testing along with a handful of other YouTubers that you may have seen today. Um, with crowdplay, so um, so yeah, uh, um, it's unfortunate that not everybody gets to experience crowdplay, but we can play it on this channel. Um, I've got the slideshow of the instructions of how to do it. We're just going to go straight into the game, and we're going to set it up live on stream. Uh, but before I do, I just want to say hello to the people in chat. So hello, Sven. Hello, Mister Cutter. Hello, Killer Killer Platypus. Hello, Lego Fernandez and Roy Ashley. Hello. How you doing, people? Hope you're well. Pegasus Il Supremo, you don't need keys for this one. So with Super Bomberman R Online, it's a free game. It's free with Stadia Pro. So Stadia Pro, you normally have to pay £8 a month. Um, and for that £8, you get 4K streaming quality, and you also get a few perks uh, in the way of free games. Super Bomberman R Online is one of them. However... If you're not sure that you want to plump down the, the ten, uh, £8 a month, I think it is. If you're not sure that you want to plump down the £8 a month, Google are doing free pro trials right now. So all that you need to do is register a Stadia account. You can claim a free pro trial for a month and you get this game free. You can play it straight off the bat. So don't worry about keys. Just go ahead, set up an account, get that free pro trial, and then you can join in. Hi, Carlos. I hope you get to join in as well. Uh, my game's just about ready to go, so let's flick over to the game screen now. Okay, and the game should be beginning any time soon. Now, I am using my brand new Stadia Pro controller. Thank you very much, Google. Um, I really appreciate you sending me one. Um, I, think, I think the controller is delightful. I absolutely love this thing. It's so nice to hold it's so nice to hold um yeah i'm really impressed so okay i think we are ready yep there we go so we've got the game running i'm gonna set this up super duper quick hey john uh lego so Okay, so we've got the game running, as we can see. I'm just going to set up Crowdplay super duper fast. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll ignore that button, shall we? Uh, um, mm, that's for another day. You didn't see that, boys and girls. You did not see that, okay? You didn't see it on my stream. Don't get me in trouble with Google. Google are watching. Okay, that never happened, all right? Thank you very much. Um, Okay, so we're going to enter the ID for our stream. We're not going to hide notifications or the view account. We are going to turn on Crowdplay. And we're going to let everybody play, not just my valued members of the channel. We're going to let everybody that comes into the chat play Crowdplay. Because this game's more fun. The more the merrier, you know? You need more people in. 
So let's go. We are connecting the game to Crowdplay right now, and Crowdplay is on. So I'm just going to pop that out so you don't have to worry about the scene the screen too much. Hi, Janko. How are you? Hope you're good. Now, what you need to do with this game is everybody needs to join in the queue. Okay, so um, with this game, you need to join in the queue before I can start actually the lobby going. That's apparently how this works. Hey, Steady Gamer, you're in. Great stuff. There's my controller. Isn't it a beauty? It's the Wasabi. Okay, it looks like we've got one person in right now. I need to set more up, so I'm just going to cancel this real quick. Yeah, it's it skipped Battle 64's bookmark straight off the bat for me. So, bear with me a tick. We will restart that. I should have set up the room first, but yes. Yes, uh, Google sent me the, the Wasabi controller, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's a wonderful bit of kit. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this all over again because we've only got a couple of people in the lobby rather than everyone. So bear with me. I'm going to quit the battle and we'll set it up again. Okay? So what I might need to do is just turn off crowd play temporarily. Let's set up the room first. That would be smart, wouldn't it? So let's create the room. Takes a few moments. Anyway, how's everyone doing on Tuesday? Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. It's been a long weekend here in the UK. Uh, we had a bank holiday, so um, I've had a, a few days off work, which is always glorious. Let's add the 64 players in. Okay, and now we should be able to start the game. Okay, so bear with me a tick. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I just need to get my stream key. Which is the URL to the stream. And I just need to pop that in there. And then we'll start this again, shall we? Okay, now, hopefully, you should see a button underneath my chat on the, on the actual YouTube page. And it should say, play. Play with Juggernaut. If you have a pro account, if you're using the pro trial that's available for free right now, Super Bomberman is available for free with Stadia Pro, so it should just let you just jump straight in. You may have to claim the game beforehand. I'm not exactly 100% certain on that. Um, you may need to claim it, but it's free. You just need to, need to just hit that button. Now, if you don't have a Stadia account, you'll see a button under my chat that says, join in. You know, join a Stadia account. Okay. So I'm going to let it tick over. I see 10 people online right now. 10 people in the queue. We're going to wait for a few more. Killer Platypus, try and refresh your page. It should be working. Uh, we've got 10 people in the queue right now. So, um... So yeah, it is letting people join. You, do, you may just need to refresh. Okay. The Stadia Gamer. Are you in now? Is it sorted for you? Now don't forget, we're probably going to have to use just a good old fashioned desktop browser instead of a mobile phone. I don't know if mobile functionality is active for this right now, um, so let's let's stay precautious. Let's stick in. Let's stick with desktop, Google Chrome, or a Chrome-supported browser like Edge, you know, Chrome Canary, that kind of thing. Okay, so once you've got that set up, you should see join my game, and once you're in, you should be able to jump in the queue. Uh, I see 13 people in the line right now. There are 32 people watching, so that's just under half of you are in the queue right now. Let's let's get a few more in. Let's get a nice lobby going. Let's say, let's get... Let's get the room open, yeah? Okay. 
So now, now we've got 13, 14 people in. The room should open. I've hit the open room button. So uh, let's hit it a second time just to be sure. Okay, we've got Stadia Gamers just jumped in. No task. So there is a slight delay for this. Okay, that's good to know. It's good to know there is a slight delay. People are coming in now, though. So welcome, Octonion. Welcome, Notas. Welcome, Stadia Gamer 201. I've not played a single match of this game, so um, while I am familiar with the old Omamans, this new one is all new for me. And I'm excited. Don't know about you guys, but I've been pumped for this all day. Work was like the longest day ever. Hi, Krytos. Hi, Sergio SV96. Hi, 79 Solak. Hi everybody, Fosso JR 1855, Little Tin Cat, hi to you too. Okay, so we've got three people still in the queue that's ready to jump in. Right, I know the feeling, I was uh, <coughs> working all day as well. I, I was watching other people stream this game, jealous. <laughs> um, <coughs> well, I wasn't even able to watch the stream, I just heard that people were streaming it. Hi Clitler Platypus, how you doing? How you doing? Bot Matrix, hi. So we've got four people still in the queue that are still feel, feeding through. Owen, good to see you. Good to see you. Jump in. Boxy SO has joined the room. We're going to let people just filter in. Because I don't know how long it takes for it to update. It may not be instantaneous. So we're going to give it time for these first few games. We're going to make sure everybody gets a chance to jump in. And then we're going to have some, some fun. Okay. So we've got three people still in. Waiting for them to come in. So. Let me just have a look at the settings right now while we're getting people in. Okay, is anybody in the queue that has still not managed to get into the lobby on the game? Or is everybody here now? Let me know in chat if you're having trouble getting into the game, if you're in the queue. Dre, are you in the queue? Are you able to get into the, the actual game lobby? There should be a button. Um, what happens is on Crowdplay, is when it's your turn into the queue, it will say uh, it's your turn to jump in. So we've got two more people that have just jumped in now. Block David and Jonka. Welcome. Okay, so hopefully Dre will be able to get in the queue now because he said he was number one of two. Two people have jumped in since. So hopefully you will be able to feed in soon, Dre. And we'll make you the last one. So. When you're in, please let me know on chat, and we will get this party started. Just tuned in. Shall I open the game manually? Mohammed, all that you need to do is just go under my chat, okay? And then all that you need to do is click Play with Juggernaut if you have a Stadia account. If you don't have a Stadia account, you will need to set one up. And if you don't have Stadia Pro, use the free trial that's available now because this game comes free with the pro subscription of Stadia and you do need access to the game to jump in, okay? Right, so I think everybody here is ready to go, except Dre, regretfully. Okay, Dre, well, I tell you what, we'll have a game, okay? And you can jump into the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna take tick this down um, we're going to wait one more minute, one more minute, and then we're going to begin the battle, okay? So, that will give another couple of people a chance to jump in. We've got 16 players out of 64 right now, and I'm excited. I'm so pumped for this. This is the thing that crowd play should be about, you know, getting a group of people just having a mental game of something as awesome and simple as Bomberman. Um, this is going to be beautiful. Yeah, we can do Battle Royale 64. 
There we go. After all, this is the exclusive mode for Stadia, so we will get that running. Okay, we're coming up to the minute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go! Okay, I'm going to pick Simon Belmont. A Jota, I had 64 slots. All right, open. But we'll try again, don't worry. We'll uh, we'll have uh, plenty of games tonight. So if you didn't get into this first one, don't worry about it. We'll get you into the next one. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Have fun. That's what Stadia Crowdplay is all about. Jumping in and enjoying yourself. So let's go for it. Okay. So we can move between arenas for a short time. Okay, so there are smaller arenas and you can jump between them. Okay. Who's in my arena with me? Oh, Kratos, Fosho and Sergio. Okay, guys, good luck. Okay. Now, how's everyone experiencing this? Is it smooth for you guys? Is it lag free? More importantly, are you having a good time? Ah! You got me, man! That must be Pyramid Head's move. He can kill the other bombers. Oh, one's down. Oh, yeah. There we go. The gates are about to open, people. Let's run. I'm going in. Where am I? Oh, crikey. Hello, Block David. I'm moving out of here. There's too many people. Oh, there's even more people there. I'm sticking in this one. Okay. There's three of us in here. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't realise that the arena actually destroys itself. Okay, so let's watch the battle. Okay, so I can't see the player names right now, unfortunately. Little pyramid head, old pyramid head from my uh, my room is in there. Six out of sixteen players are still alive. Everybody else has kicked the bucket. Oh, people are getting sneaky now. They're using their special attacks. Bombs aren't good enough when you've got a giant sword or a chainsaw or something else that's, that seems to unleash brown and purpley puddles. Okay, the blocks are falling in a weird pattern. Stars on some blocks and not others? Who's going to survive? Okay, so the star blocks seem to be the unbreakable blocks. The regular blocks seem to be just blow up of them. Good luck, people. It's going to be cutthroat now. There's not much room for maneuver. Oh, another person's down. We've got four people left. They're all in one block of the game. They're running out of room, and Pyramid Head is building up his special meter ready to use another attack. Oh, pyramid head on pyramid head action coming up soon. There are three people left. We've got the white bomber and two pyramids. Will the white bomber survive? 
got to be wily, he's got to be sly, he's got to be slick, he's got to be fast. He's looking for those power-ups around the corners to protect himself as the walls close in around them. Everybody's vying for position, everybody's vying for space, everybody's looking for that move to eliminate the opponent. And White is down! Pyramid on pyramid, sword v sword. Come on, who's going to make it? Oh, that was close. Oh, special moves and special attacks. Oh, this is new to me. I haven't played Bomberman or I've played Super Bomberman, Mega Bomberman, Bomberman 94. Even when it was called Eric and the Floaters way back in 1982 or 83. But these new ones, these new attacks, this is all brand new to me. And it's a hell of a lot of fun. And Pyramid takes it. Who was that Pyramid? It was Block David. Well done. Congratulations. A winner is you. Congrats on the first win on my crowd play. So let's go back to the room. And let's get some more people in here. Let's make sure that the... Uh, the things are open. Everything is open. Okay, so you should be able to just jump straight in, guys. The room is open. I'm allowing everybody that was in the queue to enter the room. So I should see these names pop up. See, the game by default will kick people out once they've actually, you know, um, finished their game so that you can carry on. The game automatically closes the room, Mr. Cutter. Every After every game, it closes the room and recycles for the next people in line. So what you need to do is you just need to jump back into the queue. That's um, that's part of the game design. They showed me that on my uh, on my instructions of using Crowdplay for this. They say, by default, it will cycle the players out, kick them out so that the next people can come in that are in the queue. Um, in our case, as there are 50 people watching, there are 9 people in line. Everybody can jump in. All that you need is that Stadia account with the free trial for Pro. Or if you want to pay the extra for Pro, it's well worth the money. Just jump in, buy it, come and have fun with us. Come and have fun. Okay, we've got six people still in line. We've got a fair few people filling up the room. We've got 20 people in right now. So how was your experience, guys? Was it? Uh, it was lag-free for me, um, using the Stadia controller. So um, hopefully you guys had a smooth experience too, because because uh, that felt great for me. Let me know in chat. Was it was it good for you? Google are apparently watching, so put the information in chat. Let them know how you feel about this. Let them know how you like Crowdplay, because Google really want feedback. I don't know if you've noticed recently. In the past week or so, Google is starting to push Stadia hard. You know, we're getting game announcement after game announcement after game announcement after crowd play interactions with new titles. They're really going for it now. You feel it building. Crowd play is going to be big. The queue is frozen. You can't join. I'm going to click open room again. Hopefully that will let some more people in. Mohammed, does this work with controller? Yes, it does. I'm, I'm using, I'm using uh, Stadia Crowdplay's um, Stadia controller. Wasabi. Okay, we've got some more people in line. Is everybody managing to get in? I'm just going to keep pressing this button over and over until everybody's out of the queue. As you, as you can see, guys, I don't think Crowdplay was fully ready for the prime time with this game, which, which is a shame. But the basics are there, the foundation's there, and I just think it takes a patch or two before this can roll out to everyone. Um, okay, we've got one more person in the queue that's not managed to get into the game. I'm 
I'm pressing that open room button. Okay. We've got two in the queue. Can people more the no is in? We've got one person left in the queue right now. We'll give you one minute. Hopefully by that time the minute has elapsed, you'll be in here and ready to play. Okay, 30 seconds left. Can we get this other guy in? I'm not sure who it is. All that I can see is the list of players that are in the game right now. So I can't, unfortunately, see who that player is in the queue that can't get in. Um, let yourself know in the chat, and I can help you if I can. But you should be able to see that button to join my game and then sometimes what you need to do is when it's your turn to play you need to confirm that button it gives you a minute to select that you still want to continue playing the game so you might need to hit that button again just to confirm that you're still interested and you want to jump in that game okay well the minute's up guys so let's go for it shall we we've got 26 26 players this time Let's do it. Good luck. Have fun. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, this is, this, I, I can't wait for this. It, I, I've been so pumped last night when I, I got the email saying that, you know, um, I'm going to have early access to Crowdplay and Bomberman. I was like, get in! Bomberman is, is, is so addictive it should nearly be illegal. It's so good. And 64 people in the arena is just manic. It's the perfect thing for crowd play. This and full guys, if they ever get full guys on Stadia. 60 people in that, 64 players in this. Big crowds of community coming together, having fun and blowing the living shit out of each other. It reminds me of a Saturday night huddled around a TV playing things like GoldenEye, Smash Brothers. You know, it's got that feeling to it for me. Okay. We are clearing the area. I've only got the one bomb. Oh! And it's not got much of a distance on it, not compared to some. And the look of things. Oh, I've got extra flame now. Just wish I had an extra bomb to go with it. Okay, here we go. Time is up. Which arena is going down? I'm going up into Arena 4. Got the throws kicking in there. Oh no, I'm down! I'm in the best 32. There are still people going though. Oh! A huge amount of people just got wiped out from Room 4. When you've got those bomb strings going, everything can change really quick. All it takes is one placement. We've got the white bomb, we've got the red bomb, and we've got robot bomb, whatever his name is, I've forgotten at this point. But there are bombs being thrown, there are bombs being slid over, there are bombs being tossed left, right, and center, and another person is down. Two people are down. Let's see how room three's going. Pretty quiet over in room three. Room 5, again, quite quiet, but Room 6, everything's kicking off. 
So people are moving into four and three. Three looks like it's going to get very cozy indeed. Oh, what a toss by the White Bomber there. Dave's Solid Snake is not feeling so solid anymore because he's been blown sky high. Got White Bomber on White Bomber, one with Spiky Bombs, one without. We've got Super Ninja Samurai Bomber. Yeah, with a squirt gun. Bombs are going left, right and centre. It's hard for me to catch up and see where they're heading. Because whenever they get tossed now, it seems like they're going in random directions for one of the white bombers. Oh! White and red took each other out. White's in trouble. Oh dear. There are two left in this room. Let's see what's happening in over in room four. Swords and squirters. Are you a squirter, Edgar? Nice to see you, buddy. Have you got yourself a stadia yet, pal? Edgar's is my friend who lives locally. He lives near me. You got yourself a stadia yet? Come on, jump in. No excuse now. You can get a free Stadia Pro subscription trial for a month. And you get this game included with it. There is no excuse, Edgar's. No excuse whatsoever. Get yourself over to stadia.com right now. Set yourself up an account. Get yourself that Pro trial. Come and join me and 63 other people playing this all at once. Come on. What you got to lose, apart from your life? The final phase is nearly up. Three people left. We've got Pyramid Head, we've got a Squirter, and we've got White Bomber. Who will survive? Everybody's powered up now. They're fast, they're furious. They're exploding left, right, and center. Flames are getting big. Swords are getting hard. People are getting destroyed. Lives are ruined. Friendships are broken. Everyone's having a good time. Oh, and he messes up. He just gets tanked by the corner of an explosion there. So it's Pyramid versus Squirter. Come on. Who who's got, who've you got your money on? If you got your money on, the arena is shrinking. It's getting hairy now. Pyramid Head is biding his time. But the squirt gun is dazing him from a close distance. Now you can't be too cocky at this point. If you fire too many bombs, you're going to end up injuring yourself. Especially when your bombs get fired randomly over blocks like that. He's got his extra life. Pyramid is fighting back. He's not dropping many bombs. He's preferred to toss everyone else's. All oh, the boxing gloves are on. Okay. This is going to be tight. We've got less than 50 seconds remaining. Squirter gets flamed on. And Marquise, the Pyramid Head Bomber, wins the round. Well done, Marquise. Good job. Okay, so everybody else, as I say, it will kick everybody else automatically. So we just need to go ahead and reopen that room. Jump back in the queue, guys. Jump back in. I'm hitting that open room. Everybody, just get yourself a Stadia account. Get that free pro. Come on in. Come and play. Hit that button under my chat and just jump in and play with me. And play with us. Play with us. We can have 64 people in all at once. All that you need is a Stadia account, a pro trial or a full version of pro. And a Chrome web browser. That's all you need. That's all you need. And then you just hit that button under my chat. And jump in with everybody else. Like Block David, like Cryman, like Bugmud, like Phoenix, like Tom Script, like Drake Kikens, Foxy So, Stadia Goat, Skunk Lord, everybody else. Hey, Druid. People are slowly filtering through. We've got Harsh coming in. 
I'm going to have a sip of a beverage. Matty Power, Swag Paradox, Louis and Bot Matrix. Welcome. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to blow the living shit out of each other? Edgar's VPN Schmeepien, come on, you can get in. John Note, are you having trouble getting back in? Are you, um, John, are you actually in the queue or are you having trouble getting into the queue itself? The join button isn't on the YouTube page. Uh, Clement, um, Clement, uh, are you on Google Chrome, Clement? You need to be on a Google Chrome based browser on desktop. Um, I'm not certain if it works on mobile, so you need to be on Google Chrome. Um, make sure that your permissions are open. You're on Windows 10. Okay, John, it might be worth refreshing your page uh, if you're having an issue there. Try refreshing your page, jump back in the queue. The same with you, Clement. Um, try, try and re refresh the page. Hopefully you guys will get in in a moment. But what does everybody think of the game so far, guys? See, Konami, um, I was quite impressed, actually. Konami picked up the fact that I was streaming this tonight. And Konami started retweeting some of my, some of my tweets, which was awesome to see. I'm glad that Konami actually uh, listened to their fans. And I'm amazed that Konami would actually retweet little old me. Fucking hell. More games like this, please, Konami. If you're watching the stream, this is your bread and butter. We want more things like this. We want Bomberman. We want Castlevania. We want your classics coming back. And I would kill, personally, personally, Konami, I would kill for a new Sunset Riders game. Four-player online Sunset Riders. Please make it happen, okay? Please. Yeah, but um, I was really chuffed that that, um, that Konami was, was actually picking up my tweets. Um, Google as well. Google have been watching the stream so far. Uh, John, note, well, it's free on Google Chrome. Uh, not Google Chrome. Stadia Pro. Bomberman R Online is included for free with Stadia Pro. If you don't have Stadia Pro and you want to buy it separately... Uh, you want to buy the game separately, it's £9.99, and you can buy it right now. Um, it's only the crowd play feature that's unavailable, and it's not public yet. So, a select few of us around the world have access to crowd play. Uh, I'm one of them. There was a, a gentleman um, who was streaming this game earlier today. I've forgotten his name, but he's quite a big, big YouTuber. He's got a million followers or something. He's got access to it. Um, and then there was another gentleman who had like 50 subscribers who had it today as well. So there's a few of us pocketed around. I'm very lucky. Uh, I was the world's first person to use Crowdplay in public with Mortal Kombat 11. And um, yeah, they said they were so happy with the response that you guys gave them. The ones that actually joined in the chat, joined in the stream. They were so pleased with the responses that you guys gave that they let me keep the service because they were going to take it away from everybody but because of you guys they let us keep it so that we could keep playing and um, I'm really thankful Google if you are in the chat and you are watching um, thank you very much for that I'm sure there are 64 people in stream right now that really appreciate you doing that and giving us the opportunity for playing all of these new games first you know Bomberman R and whatever comes in the future Google have said um, to me in email that you know we will have early access on this channel. We will have early access for new crowd play features. Uh, CDRW, I would love to know the answer to that question, my friend. What made them choose you for this test? Um, I don't know, to be honest. All that all that I know is that um, I've contacted them in the past with an issue I had, 
um, I gave them some technical detail and they solved my issue. And then a few months later, I get an email from Google saying, hey, we've got this new thing coming out. You stream YouTube, you play video games, you like classic games as well as new games. Would you be interested in trying this feature out? And I'm like, hell yeah. They didn't tell me what it was. They just said it, it involves Stadia. Are you in? And I said, absolutely, I'm in. And then I found out it was Crowdplay. And then they said, we're going to give you 60 copies of Mortal Kombat to give out for free. And um, yeah, you're going to try out this new feature. They didn't mention that I would be the first person in the world to do it. But they said that I will do it. <laughs> and they said that I could do it. So, uh, so yeah, here we are. Hey, Sean, Logic Q. Yes, this is where I am, buddy. We are trying out Stadia Crowdplay. This is one of the first introductions in the world of it playing in Bomberman. Me and 64 or 63 of my intimate friends here. We've got 23 people in the lobby right now. And I am not having much success with Simon Belmont. So I am going for... Uh, I'm going to go Alucard. Why not? My name is Alucard. Anyway, Sean, Logic Q. Get yourself a Stadia account. It's free. Get a free trial for Stadia Pro. And then you get this game for free. And then you can jump on Crowdplay. You see that button underneath my chat? That is the Crowdplay button. Um, it's only available on a handful of accounts in the world. I am one of them. Um, you just jump on that chat. You press that button. And then you jump in the queue. And then you can play with... 60, 63 other people as well. Jump in, mate. It's good fun. John, nope. Um, it's not in the new game section because there's a bundle right now uh, where you get free, um, free limited edition costumes. So you might just have to go to all games and you should see it there if you don't see it in the new game section. Okay, so I am in the top left corner. I'm getting awfully close to the white bomber. I'm getting my skates on and I'm getting an extra bomb. Okay. Hey! Don't be throwing your stuff round here. Oh crikey, there's a load of power-ups there. Okay, I'm getting the punch box. He loves... Ooh, that was close. Okay. Okay, the doors are about to open. Which way are we going to go? Let's go to top. Let's go to room one. Okay, I am going to go into this corner with uh, with Sergio. Hey, Sergio. Hey, Steady Goat. Hey, Phoenix. Hey, Cryman. How's it going, guys? Go gentle on me. Okay. Ah! I pressed the wrong button. I used my special attack instead of reeling out of the way. No, that's not good. I'm out. I am dead. There are 12 people left alive. Oh, no, I am still alive. Oh, I thought I'd lost all my lives. I'm still here. Time is running out. Flame on and I'm gone. Oh, no, I am gone. Shit. I just got tagged with a massive, massive flame from my own bomb. Blew myself up. I've got two achievements in the process. How many people are left alive? Room three looks kind of busy right now. Let me catch up on the chat while we do this. So, uh, Dave Pinto says, love it. Ro R I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize. R Ogic. This game is great. Phoenix here. No lag at all. Only I'm not that good. Neither am I. Don't worry about it. Tom says, I have no idea if I'm ready or not. I'm not qualified to answer that. Um, says, I am better. Thank you very much, John. 
Mr. Cutter, yes, we the best. Bryce Huffnell. If you don't use Crowdplay, you can open a private room and share the room number for others to join. I have seen that, Bruce. Yeah, I've seen that um, people are using URL links to kind of share rooms. It's kind of a workaround, uh, but Crowdplay seems to work a bit better. Um, I, I love the Crowdplay feature. I cannot wait for Dead by Daylight and Crowdplay. With crowd choice as well, it's going to be so good. Um, Oh, John, it's the game's only available on Pro at the moment. Okay, I, I wasn't aware of that. My apologies. I thought it was available on sale as well. Uh, Sean says, you need to get Azza to join in with Atlantean later. Yeah, by all means, bring them all over. Tell Aaron to get his butt in. Get Jack in as well, Sean. Get everybody over to my stream. Get them all to set up a, a Stadia account. Let's, let's go. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Let's get everybody in. All of our friends locally, new friends that we haven't met before, new people around the world. Let's get everybody playing and having fun together. That's what we need right now. The world is an absolute mess and people are getting more and more divided by the week. Let's just all join in together, no matter where we are, no matter what your beliefs are. And let's just have fun. That's what we want. That's what I want. Yeah, I saw that, the, uh, the taunt menu. I did see it briefly there <laughs> when I was fumbling for buttons. Bryce, yeah. The root controller issue. How to connect after you open the Crowdplay link. Um, if you've linked your controller in the past, it should automatically connect. If not, then you have to open your uh, settings and then just link your controller that way. If you've got a Stadia controller, you just press the button combination. If you're using something like a, an Xbox One controller, uh, you just need to, to make sure that it's synced up or connected via USB. And then once you've got all that, Skunk Ward, congratulations. Well done. You're a better a la carte than I could ever be. Good job, buddy. Well done. Good game. So like I said last time, it kicks everyone out of the room. But never fear. Because the open room button is here. Okay, so everybody jump back in this queue. Jump in the game. Let's continue having fun. Okay, so the room is open. We've got 12 people jumping straight back in. Octonion, Dr. Q Knight, Block David. Welcome. Welcome back. Ready to kick ass and take names and have fun doing it. Let's go. Fosso Jr. 1855 Druidamix. Everybody, come on in. Come on in. All that you need to do is hit the button underneath my chat in the YouTube channel. You play with Juggernaut. You hit that button. If you've got a Stadia Pro account, it will take you right in. If you don't have Stadia, then the button will say join Stadia. If you have Stadia but you don't have Pro, then you can get a free one month trial for Stadia Pro right now. And this game is included with Pro. So if you want to jump in, all you have to do is register that account. Jump in with your, your, your account, claim that free trial, and then just get in the game. That's all you need to do. Very simple, as long as you've got a Krogle, uh, Google Chrome based browser, You've got a Stadia account. You're good to go. Okay, we've got eight people more in the queue, still filtering their way in. I should add the click to play link to the details. Um, I'm not certain if you can do both at the same time, uh, this guy. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do Crowdplay as well as the click to play link. Uh, it's something that we could experiment with later, possibly. But right now, I just want to get some games and have some fun. And what a day for Stadia it's been, huh? Been a lot of games released on Stadia today. There's that, that cool um, 
oh, I've forgotten what the name of it is. There's this, this really cool looking game that's a one-on-one -on -one type thing. Um, really fast, lightning, lightning paced, reflex style game. It looks awesome. I've forgotten for the life of me what the name of the actual game is. Gunsport, that's the one. Thank you, Matako. Yes, Gunsport looks awesome. I haven't tried it myself yet because I jumped straight into Bomberman the moment I got home from work to set the stream up ready to roll. Um, so I haven't tried any of the new games myself, but Rock of Ages 3, uh, you've got, you know, you've got um, the Avengers game coming out, you've got the, the Hitman series, and Hitman uh, is also on sale right now. It's on sale straight away. Uh, Mr. Cutter, they will be allowing Crowdplay on phone in the future, but I think it takes a little bit more work for it to work adequately on A, Wi-Fi, and B, a variety of mobile phone devices. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that Crowdplay isn't working on mobile right now. Right now. Um, I can understand why, but it will come in the future. Don't you worry. And speaking of coming in the future, we got four people still in line. I'm hitting the open room button. We've got three people still left in the line because Kryman has now joined. Okay, we'll wait for one more minute and then we'll get this show on the road. Nordberg is in. Okay. Morty Bomberman is in like the name. Hi Asus. It's not the Asus as in the Asus company, is it? Oh, Konami. Hello, Konami. Good to see you. Thank you for releasing such a great game. We're having so much fun with this, Konami. I'm, I'm really, really happy with Super Bomberman Online. Um, and if you heard me before, I would love to see a new Sunset Riders. Please, please make a new Sunset Riders for me, Konami. I love you. I love you. But anyway, in the meantime, Super Bomberman R Online is is fantastic. I, I'm having so much fun. Um, it is great. Uh, thank you so much for letting me play it in crowd play with, with these guys. Um, it seems that everybody here in the chat is having a great time. Guys in the chat, can you let Konami know what a great game this is? Can you let them know how thankful you are that that crowd play is rocking? Um, because th this is this is just fantastic. Oh, hi, huh? My wife's just entered the room, and Konami has entered the chat room. So the, the game designers are in my chat right now. The uh, the development team. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm going to go with traditional white bomber man. Yeah, Konami, I, I saw that. Thank you very much for sharing my uh, my tweets around. I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, it's it's really good. And I I hope you have great success with this game. It's, it deserves it. Um, I haven't played Bomberman R on the other systems, but I have played all of the other Bomberman games right back from Eric and the Floaters on the ZX Spectrum. And I've got to say, this one... This is special. This is right up there with Bomberman 5, with Mega Bomberman, as the cream of the crop of Bomberman games. It's it's just beautiful. So thank you so much. Okay, people, here we go. I'm in the top left corner. Okay, we're clearing our way out. Hey, okay. It's getting a bit hairy now. The bomb's already coming through. Oh, my squirting friend has got my second bomb. That was mine. I had it pegged. But he got there a little bit quicker than I did. I am underpowered compared to some of my contemporaries here. I'm going to flame on and get another bomb. Now I can catch up. Yeah. Let's play possum. See if we can get a kill. Oh, so close to getting the squirty guy. We've got 10 seconds before the arena opens up, people. 
Which way are we gonna go? Which way are we gonna go? If you're going that way, I'm going this way. Bye. See ya. I'm going north. Huh? Can't hear you. I do have a lot of Konami games, yeah. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Konami. Konami were huge in the 90s as well. Uh, lots of my favourite all-time games were Konami. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that the kids love that we've also played on screen. Lots of other titles by Konami were absolutely amazing. They've given me so much joy over the years. And they're going to continue doing so with this. Ah! Oh, I just got clipped! No, I'm down! I'm down, the wife distracted me. I'm claiming shenanigans. Shenanigans, my wife is on your side. She is evil. She's going against her own husband. She's distracting me. What's that? Blow up everybody except me. Be the last man standing. I'm dead. Okay. Uh, you're, you're welcome, Konami. It's, um, it is an absolute joy. I was just saying to my wife that, that Konami have released so many great games over the decades. Um, you've given us so much joy over the years. Um, I hope that long continues um, with Bomberman and with the new Sunset Riders, please. Please. Maybe a Lethal Enforcers as well. That would be good. New, a new Lethal Enforcers. It's been a while. I love those two, especially the second one where you're a gunslinger in the West. What a game that was. I had it on their Mega CD and absolutely loved it. Yes, yeah, um, people are, are doing well. We've got two lives left. We've got two rooms left. Yeah, Frog is Konami. Yeah, the kids, the kids love Frogger. Yeah. Andre Sosa, you can join in in the next game. We are in the middle of a round right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's plenty more rounds to come. Oh, the gates are open. We've got two rooms. Room three is going to be unavailable unless you want to get crushed to death. It's getting a bit claustrophobic. Rocks are going to fall. Everybody's jostling for position in the middle and in the corners. Marty Bomberman top left, Phoenix in the side with Solid Snake, who might not be solid anymore because he's just exploded. Mm. Yeah, that's... It is insane to think that like, Konami of uh, taking the time out of their day to just jump in. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon tonight. Thank you, guys. Well, thanks, everybody, joining in and watching for, for playing with us. I mean, join Crowdplay. Just, uh, it's such a great feature, as I was saying in my Mortal Kombat 11 stream. You know, the, the feature is phenomenal, and it really sets Stadia apart from other systems and makes it a truly viable alternative platform to, you know, next-gen consoles whenever they come out and however much they cost. You know, Stadia is here. It can be upgraded in the future. They were talking about 8K upgrades. You know, and we get great games like this that we can share as a community. This is this is what I want out of out of next year. <laughs> yes, uh, transparent. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't. You can't use a brand account right now. They are working on fixing that. Um, there, there is a, a known issue with brand accounts, unfortunately, transparent. Uh, but never fear, it is going to be worked on. Oh, and there is the death. The final one. Naughty Bomberman. Dressed up. Like Bill from Contra. Well done, Morty Bomberman. Okay, so by default, it kicks everyone out of the room again. So just queue up. Queue up again. The room is open for everyone to join in. We've got 64 available spaces. I'm taking up one, so that means 63 of you can jump in at any time in this game. So everybody just...
see the the button underneath my chat hit that button if you've got if you've got stadia if you've got pro then that's all you need to do just hit the play with juggernaut button underneath the chat if you haven't got stadia then sign up for a free account you can do so straight away from stadia.com and stadia pro is free you've got a free trial at the moment for a month and this game super bomberman r online is free with pro so you're basically you can play this for a month with the free trial see what you think of the service see what you think of the game and then when you fall in love with it like i did you can continue your subscription from then but in the meantime just get that trial going and then jump in join in the fun on chat and we're a friendly bunch in the chat room you can see that the chat is flowing and i'm trying to answer as many questions and and talk as best i can but my wife is also talking to me in the corner because she doesn't seem to understand what the stream how the stream works so she's asking questions what can we get closer say hello oh you can't see around the corner uh, yeah so, so my wife wants to see the the preview stream but it's, it's hiding, see, it's, it's hiding so that I can see the chat and everything. So, um, yeah. There we go. Okay, so the room is open. We've got more people in the queue. I'm just going to flick over to see how my queue is actually doing. So we've got eight people that are still in the queue. Um, we are just waiting for those people to jump in. The game should be available. Stadia is indeed a thing, and Stadia is a great thing, and I don't know if you've noticed recently, but it's starting to get a huge push. It's starting to push out. It's got some deals coming out with exclusive games. You've got the Super Bomberman R Online. You've got the uh, you've got the um, Outsiders game. You've got you know things like Avengers coming out day one, day and date with the the console versions. You've got. Uh, Hitman series coming out. You've got you've got more exclusives coming down the pipeline, and you've got things like crowd play, which we're playing with right now. You've got crowd choice coming out in the future, where your stream can influence the way the game is played. You've got all these great new features. You'll be able to stream direct from Stadia at some point in the near future as well, without using OBS or any of that. You know, Stadia is a thing, and it's starting to pick up steam slowly. Granted. I'm sure Google would like it to pick up a lot faster than it is, but people are talking about Stadia again now, and in a positive light, way more positive than it was at the start. Um, and for me personally, I've been a Stadia member for a few months now, and I, much like many people, when I first heard about Stadia, I thought it was going to suck. I thought it was going to be laggy, I thought the graphics were going to be pants and it would be smeary, like somebody smeared Vaseline all over the screen. But it's nothing like that. The games are fluid. The, the the input lag is no different to playing an online game on a regular console. Um, the system is great. And the fact that you don't have to patch every five minutes is becoming more and more attractive for me. My son plays Fortnite. And he's big on Fortnite. But every week, we've got an 8 gig, 10 gig patch before we can play again. And it becomes a pain in the ass. If you look at something like Call of Duty Warzone, where you're, you're downloading over a hundred gig of patches just to play the game? Or I could turn over to my Stadia, hit a button, it will do the patches for me and I am ready to play just like that. Stadia is getting a lot of positive movement going now. Give it a chance, give it a chance. And if you don't, if you haven't given it a chance, now's the perfect time. Just set up a free account, use the free pro trial that's available right now play the games that you get included for pro for a month and then your your opinion might be swayed like mine was a oh, crimen's a famous spanish youtuber okay um buenos dias okay so i'm i'm hammering the open button room it says that we've got 13 people left in the queue you should be able to jump in by just hitting that Play with Juggernaut button underneath my chat. You may need to refresh the page if you're having trouble. 
Killer Platypus, hooray, you're in. Good to see you. Bloodshine, this is crowdplay. This is crowdplay working right now. Um, if you don't see the chat button, it will be underneath my my uh, my chat. You may need to refresh the page on a Google Chrome browser. We'll keep this running for a little while. People are still filtering in. Yeah, Bloodshine, keep retrying. I know we've had success with Mortal Kombat, so this should be no different. You should be able to jump straight in. Uh, Mohammed says, at the end of each round, I had to close the tab, join the queue again. Connect the controller again. Is this the same for everyone? Um, what I can recommend for you, Mohammed, is try with a USB cable. That way, at least you won't need to sync the controller off every time. Okay, well, um, Crimen, um, some people in the chat tell me that you're a famous YouTuber. Welcome. If you have any English-speaking friends that, that join your channel, feel free to get them to subscribe to my channel as well. <laughs> I, I could use the extra push. I'm always I'm always open for an extra push, unless it's down a flight of stairs. It says no saloon available in game. Okay, that's interesting because I am hammering that open room button. So what we might need to do is we might need to just go as we are. There are there are 19 people in the room. I'm gonna wait for one more minute, and then we'll try and then we'll start playing and then. The rest of you guys, in the meantime, if you want to refresh your page, um, hopefully you'll get in for the next game, okay? So... Okay, so we are about good to go. Everybody ready? We've got 19 of us in the room, in the game. Let's go! Oh, it says waiting for all players to return. That's new. Okay, um, click open room again. There we go. Right. I am going to go as Rick to Bomber. Right. We'll keep it in the Castlevania family. We have Alucard, now we're under Rick to... Not that it matters because I'm going to last about five seconds like the last game. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get our bomb on. Good luck. Have fun. Reach out and blow somebody up. Has anybody seen a Louis in this game yet in Battle 64 mode? Okay, good luck, people. Oh, I'm, I'm with the champ Morty Bomberman. Look, he won the last game. That means I am not going to last. Gotta get my skates on. Oh, great mind sinker like there, Morty. He wants to ruin my day. Look. He's trying to ruin my day. Big time. Oh! He nearly managed it as well. Okay. Oh! Somebody got clipped! He got tagged! Ten seconds till the gates open. Oh, and I'm stuck. That's not good. Oh dear. Now, which rooms are going to go down? This room that I'm in is, and so is this one. So I'm going up. I'm going to go up to room four. Okay. Good luck. Oh, I've got spiky bombs. One oh, egg! Yes! Oh no, somebody stole it, you son of a... Right, you're going down. Boom. 
If I can't have him, nobody can. Oh, nice throw there, buddy. Oh, I've done myself in. No, I haven't. I'm alive. Special attacks to the rescue. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. I took somebody else out with me. Okay. 13th out of 19. There's 10 left. Time is running down. The gates are about to open. Where's everyone going? Which room is going to go? Six and five are going. It's, it's just room three and four left. Morty Bomberman, the winner of the last game, is still in there. Louis with five, level five on his account there. Doing well with the Chainsaw Killer Bunny. This could be the room to watch, but we are going to flick over to room four because there are power-ups all over the floor. But a massive piece of destruction in room three. Power ups all over the shop. Bombs being thrown in a row. The killer chainsaw bunny is down for the count. And there is only the white bomber left. Let's move to room four where the action is. Yeah, nice killing. Uh, nice playing with you, killer platypus. Enjoy your evening. Okay, Sean, see you later, buddy. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Is it going to be filled with a plum, or is it going to be multi bomber man? Or will the bot matrix overtake it and take the blue pill? Or slash welcome you to the jungle. Corners are not safe places to be. Oh, he was so busy focused on taking out the girl in the corner that he didn't see the bomb under his feet. And will the square to take out White Bomber Man? Will the robot malfunction again? Or will he survive? It's getting awfully close. More power-ups are dropping. Missiles are being launched and slid all over the place. The gloves are off. Oh! Popped him square with the bomb. Look, getting close to the two-minute warning. Oh, what a move! What a move! Pink got a life deducted as the walls close in. Oh, oh, White's nearly, nearly said hello to the spikes then. Now it gets scary. Everybody's not sure where to go and Pink is gone. we got the Squirter versus the White Bomber. So we're still down. We are still down. Hey, Nick. I'm glad you're having fun, because I am too. I hope everybody that's joining in is having a great time. Um, Konami, if you're still in the chat there, um, you, you see that, that interest is, is peaking for this game right now. People are loving it. You're making a lot of people happy this evening. And that goes for you too, Google. Uh, the state of your team, if you're still watching as well. Everybody's loving crowd play. Okay, well, let's open up the room for everybody else. It might be worth refreshing your page now before I open the room. So everybody who wants to play, 
can you please refresh your browser just to make sure that everything runs smoothly okay so if you do that now okay I'm gonna open the room in three two one Boom. and I got my fingers in the wrong order I'm that tired I went three one two like an asshole <laughs> whoops uh, um funny funny thing Morty do you know why I spelt juggernaut the way I did it's because in Spanish juga is is game so so juggernaut juga game yeah, that's one of the reasons why I spelt it the way I did. Also, my name fits in eight characters, so the original spelling of Juggernaut is too big to fit in high score tables. So I shrunk it down to eight, and therefore, Juggernaut, Juggernaut. And in French, of course, uh, is, um, is play as well. So yeah, fun little fact for you that nobody really cares about, but I thought I'd share it anyway. People just think I couldn't spell it right. <laughs> it's also yeah, it's also stylized, you know, like um, I don't know if you remember Fatality back in the day, he had a one in his name and, and you look at the League of Legends players, they all have an accentuated version of their names from Mine's been around for a while. Yeah. Okay. We've got 14 players in line, we've got 13 players in game. Um, Thank you. Edgar's, yes you can. If, if it's not letting you in, if you're geo-fenced out, then um, unofficially there are ways around it. Just get a VPN. If you look for the Google extensions um, page on Chrome, if you look through their apps, I'm sure you'll find a VPN service. Uh, you set yourself to the United Kingdom or wherever um, that stadium is available if it's blocking you out from wherever you are, and then you'll be able to jump in, set up an account and flag. I don't think Google will be too happy about me giving you that information. I think I think they want to keep it in certain jurisdictions. But if you really want to play, there are ways to do it. Sorry, Google, if you are watching, but you know, have to help people enjoy the fun, right? Sometimes the rules are meant to be broken. But yes, Google are interested in what you guys have to say. Um, Google emailed me last night uh, about this game saying that whilst Crowdplay will not be available to everybody on day one, um, we will have it early access and would I be interested in streaming it? And I said, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, I want to play, I want to play! Um, so they gave me all the instructions, all the information. Uh, so, so yeah, Google emailed me and said, said by all means, set it public, have fun with it. They wanted to know what time I would be streaming uh, so that they could jump in. So they, they could be listening. They, they said they'll be silent and they won't affect the chat in any way, shape or form. So for all we know, out of the 59 people watching right now, there could be a Google Ninja in amongst you. So please let Google know. Please let Google know what you think of Crowdplay if you've managed to play so far tonight. Please let them know you know, any suggestions, any feedback that you have on the service. Thank you, mate. Um, anything that you want to tell them at all, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, just be honest. Share it in the chat. Share it on the on the Stadia forum. Just, uh, yeah, let them know. Yes, Jerris, um, this game by default kicks everybody out um, in crowdplay mode because it anticipates bigger streamers than me. You know, we're talking PewDiePie's and that kind of thing where you might have thousands of people waiting in the queue. Um, when you've got 64 people in a room, um, you don't want certain people to hog the game. They want to free up the spaces for the next players. So by default, this game gets rid of everybody after they play. And then you just queue up again and start it all over again. So in this, in this instance, you know, you've just got to jump in. The Van Hydra, all that you need to do is, um, first off, 
have a Stadia account. If you have a Stadia account, the Van Hydra, then if you haven't got Pro, then all that you need to do is sign up for the free month trial and you get this game included as part of Pro. So you will get this included as part of the trial. Once you have your Stadia account, refresh my chat page and underneath my chat you will see a button that says play with Juggernaut. You hit that button, you'll jump into the queue and then you'll be able to play with me via your Google Chrome browser. Now uh, Jerris, the room is open. As you can see, people are filtering through, slowly but surely. Jerris, yes, if <laughs> put the crowd play button a bit higher. Yeah, I would like them to put it above the chat so it's the first thing you see in the corner. Uh, but, you know, different people have different layouts, different screen sizes and what have you. And yes, right, that is right. You've got to... Well, you don't have to, but I would really, really, really appreciate it, you guys, if you did me a favour, you know, for sharing all this stuff with you. I, I really... Uh, I, I would just like something simple for you to do for me. I would like you to subscribe to my channel and please touch my bell end. Touch my bell end to be notified of whenever I go live. It's a very sensitive bell. It will let you know when I'm here. Trust me, it will let you know. You go ding a ling a ling on my ding a lung a lung and you will get an email whenever I go live, whether it's releasing a new video, whether I'm live playing a retro game or whether I'm playing crowd play on something like Stadia. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. I would really, really appreciate that. If you could get some extra subscribers in, get your friends in as well. I would, I would love that very much. And if you want to be super awesome, then you can become a member of the channel as well. You get some extra perks, you get some emoto emojis and emoticons that nobody else gets. Um, that people like Root, for example, have. Root Verani, you can see up in the chat. He's an Excite Bike member level. So he has an Excite Bike next to his name. He gets some extra perks that are rolling out this month. Um, and if you want to become a member, I've tried to make them as cheap as possible in the membership. So they start at and next to nothing, basically. It's, it's just a little chip, a little tip for me, really. So if you want to do that, then that's super cool. If you want to join Patreon, then by all means, feel free. The links are, are up there on my on my screen. Um, if you don't, then that's completely cool. I don't expect any of you to do that. You know, It's just if anybody wants to go the extra mile. What I would really like for you to do, as I say, is to like the channel, subscribe to me, because that really helps me out. It gets me more visible, and it gives us more opportunity to do things like this with brands that that you know we wouldn't have reach of normally you know um so that really does help and help me help you with new crowd play games and the more people that are interested in crowd play the more chance we get new games coming out early and the more chance we get to experience them early. so yeah that would be really great if you could do that now we've got nine people in line we've got eight people in line nick i do indeed have twitter um, as you can see at the top of the screen, my YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, Instagram, although I don't really use Instagram, and Twitter, they're all Juggernaut, J-U-G-A-N-A-W-T. That's my handle on Twitch, that's my handle when I use Twitch, which is very rare, um, it's my handle on Patreon, it's my handle on YouTube and Twitter, uh, and if you want to join me on Facebook, then it's Juggernaut Games on Facebook. So it is slightly different from Facebook. So it's Juggernaut Games. Okay, so the room is open. Is anybody else able to get in? We've got seven people in line, apparently. Let me know. You keep getting room errors. Okay, um, so what I might do is how long have we had the stream running? For about, for about an hour and a half. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly disconnect and reconnect because we noticed after about two hours on Mortal Kombat, two to three hours, crowd play would start getting a little bit congested. 
and people would have trouble joining. Um, but a disconnect and a reconnect solved that problem. So I'm going to try and test that now. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect Crowdplay just momentarily. So that means regretfully you will lose your place in the queue, but just jump on in when that comes back on live. So I'm going to disconnect now. Okay, and I'm going to set the live stream up. I'm going to skip past that button because I don't think you're really supposed to be seeing that. Uh, we're going to go over here and we're going to put in my stream key again, which is the same key as my URL. We're going to open up Crowdplay and we are good to go. It's not just for members, it's for everybody tonight. There will be some streams in the future where it will be just for the for the for the members you know it's part of their extra perks they get to play a couple of games exclusive with me whatever they choose really um but in terms of crowd play and in terms of previews that doesn't count this is open for everyone okay so we've reopened the crowd play now guys so if you don't see the join game button please refresh your browser and we should be back in business people are filling up those spaces very quickly indeed. Okay, so underneath the chat you should see that uh, that play button, that magical play on Stadia, like Sanguine just has. Hello Sanguine! Hey Gibran! How you doing? Hey Druid a mix. Hello again, Stadia Goat. Welcome one and all. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're enjoying the stream and I hope you're enjoying the game when you get in and play. Right, you still can't join. Try and refresh your browser again. Uh, Rook. Hopefully that will sort it. Fingers crossed. No problem, steady a goat. Um, I, I don't know whether it's my side of things or whether it's just something that happens after mixing and matching so many connections after a while, but it seems about after two or three hours, we just need a quick refresh. Um, it's a simple hit, disconnect, and then we reconnect, and we're good to go for another few hours again. It's great. Um, hi, Roberto. How are you? We've got nine people in line, apparently, ready for the next game. We've got 12 people in the lobby of the game. So hopefully those nine will come feeding right through any moment now. And if not, we will start the game very shortly. Let's give it another minute, okay? Excellent, good to hear, Roberto. Come and join the fun. This game's great. Um, <laughs> I still can't believe Konami has actually jumped in and, and said, Hi, I'm chat. I'm so happy. <laughs> not only that, they're, they're sharing the stream out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> And I'm not even the first in the world to show this game this this time. I was first in the world to show Mortal Kombat, but uh, but this time somebody beat me to it. Somebody was streaming this at about three o'clock this afternoon. But yeah, having Konami jump in that's that's made my day. That really has. And I did push for a new Sunset Riders game. <laughs> Something fishy with the Q system. Is Konami still around? Uh, I don't know if Konami is still around, Jota. Um, I don't think they would be. They were in quite a while ago. But what we will do is we will start the game. Because we do have a few people in. Hopefully you will have luck on the next one. I'm going to go for Nurse Bobblehead. Got my little drinking straw here. Inflict the skull effect to yourself. Okay. I don't have any customization options. 
but it doesn't matter. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, people. Have fun. Let's go. We've got Plum, we've got Druidamix. These are the guys in my room. Go gentle on me. And we're just clearing out these initial corners. Wow, somebody's got a handful of good power ups already. That's a lucky drop for them. Not so lucky for me. And I don't know about you guys playing, but I am experiencing no lag whatsoever. No perceptible lag, anyway. Feels good to play. Feels really good. Really good to play. Oh, three, two, one. Let's get out of here. I'm going up to room one. No Tassa Skunk Lord are here. I'm moving over to room two. Sanguine Phoenix, Nordberg, Stadia Goat, and Skunk Lord, we're all here. It's party time. already smashed us up out of the game. It's a life down. I'm gonna steal these power-ups. Oh yeah, we're gonna have mega bombs now. That was a lot of power-ups I just took. bombs in my way. Okay, we are left in the same room. Room 2 is the only one. Yeah, I've got to say, there's, there's no perceptible lag there. I should bring my controller option up so that you can see my button inputs, but I'm not feeling any lag. That was just my own doing. How badly I suck. I tapped once too many, and that was it. I'm down. So now we've got two a la cards. We've got one of the girls from Poppin' Mix or Poppin' Music. And we've got the Blue Bomber. Not Mega Man, the other one. Oh, Blue is in trouble. Alucard's in trouble. Alucard uses a special, but it's not enough to escape the bomb. Three remain. Girl from Pop of Music is lightning fast as she flies out of the screen with an explosion. Oh! She is gone. Four scars. We've tried to connect a few times and it errors out. What does the error say? Unable to find room. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the room number was. I think it's 2255, but I'll double check that in a moment. Oh, Alucard takes it. The blue bomber is bye bye Plom is our winner. Well done, Plom. return to the room and I will give you the number. Okay, so it's hunting for a new number by the look of it. The room number is... Room number is... 
Come on. <laughs> we'll get there. Oh, people are coming in. I don't know what the room number is yet, though. But people are filtering through the, the chat, so... That is interesting, how we're not getting uh, a room number. Norberg, well played. Good game. Hope you had fun. Come on. I'm glad you're enjoying it, my friend. Now, it seems like we are having a slight issue with the room. So what I'm going to do is something that we didn't do last time. I'm going to back out. And I'll close the room and reopen a new one. Okay, so those of you who are in the queue, you might have to rejoin, but I just want to eliminate all possibilities of there being options um, for, for people having issues, okay? So I'm going to make sure that first of all, we are on the Battle 64 mode before we begin, and then I'm going to re-add 64 spaces. There we go. Now I'm going to reopen this room. Okay, so people should be starting to filter through now. Hopefully. Dr. Q Knight is in. So that's good. People are filtering through again. Four scars. Can you try and get in the room again, please? Hopefully this time will be lucky for you. Like Octonian is in. Color join the room. That's it, Andy. You just hit join. That's all you need to do. If you've got a Stadia account and if you have Pro, then all you need to do is hit that join and you are in the game with me. It will open in a new tab so you don't have to worry about losing the stream. It will open in a new tab and you are good to go like Root is. I'm so pleased that it's working now for you, Root. It seems like that's all we needed to do. Maybe just refresh the room. That's good. That's good to know. We will bear that in mind for the next stream. Which, at this rate, because I want to play this a lot, might be tomorrow. <laughs> Depending on how work goes tomorrow. I might just jump straight on after work and play. My kids will love this game as well. Four scars. Okay. Hopefully that means it's okay and you're in. Fingers crossed. We have a fair few people on the queue in the line. And they're not filtering through into the game yet. So hopefully they will anytime soon. There we go. More people are in. More people are feeding in. Rob Yolo, where is the join button? If you're on a Google Chrome browser, it will be underneath the chat on my YouTube page. Andy Keep, are you on uh, Stadium Pro? Are you on Stadia Pro? You need to be on Pro to, to play this game. If you're not on Stadia Pro, then you just need to sign up for the free trial. It should work for you, Andy. Yeah, you may need to claim the game first via logging into Stadia. Uh, you need to set up your username and, and things like that, so you... You will need to log into it, set that up, get it all good to go. And then hopefully you will join the, the room like Four Scars has managed to do so. I'm so pleased that you're in there, buddy. Problem solved. Okay, we've got a few more people filtering in. Yes, claim the game. You need to claim the game so that it sits in your library. Now guys that have played a couple of rounds, what do you think? What do you think of Bomberman? You having fun? Because I sure as hell am. I, I love this. And how, how do you feel about crowd play? How well is it working on your connection? Because from my side, I can only see what I see in the game. And for me, I've got no lag. I've got no issues. My, my video isn't degrading or anything. But I can't see what you see. So, guys, what's it like on your end? 
How does it feel? Let me know in the chat. I really want to know because there's no doubt in the future that when Crowdplay does go out public and everybody's got it, that I will be joining in Crowdplay with other people. So, so let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested. Test account joined the room. What a great name. Fantastic, Andy. Good job. From one Andy to another. Welcome. Okay, we've got a couple more people in line just working their way through. We're going to start the game in one minute's time. Yeah, Inns, you don't need the room name. You just click the join button on my chat. Underneath the chat on my YouTube channel, you should see play game or play with Juggernaut. That's all you need to do. Hit that button and it will do the rest for you. Okay, 30 seconds, people. Aaron has joined the room. Hello, Aaron. Sir Didymus has joined the room. Hello, Sir Didymus. Welcome one and all. Welcome one and all. I'm keeping my eye on the chat so that I make sure that there are no issues that, that we can't fix. We've got one person still in the line. Aaron, our minute is up. Thank you, Roberto. It's good to know that the stream looks good. I would say I work hard on it, but that's a lie. <laughs> This is a hobby for me. This this whole YouTube thing is something that um, I just do as a pastime. I, I was unemployed when I started my account on YouTube. And I thought, well, if I've got time on my hands, then I'm going to learn a new skill. I'm going to learn video editing and, you know, get more confident, talk on, on mic and get a camera and get out there a bit more. Uh, so, yeah, that's how I started. I've been building it up ever since, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, getting there, becoming more confident, having more fun, more importantly. Uh, I'm going to go Lance. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Good luck. Have fun. I challenge you. All right. Go easy on me, gents and ladies. And when I die, I'll provide commentary, which will be very quickly, no doubt. You trapped me in, you swine! I thought I was a goner there. I'm not going to lie. I thought you had me. You're faster than I am. Oh, but you take each other out. I'll just pick up the pieces, shall I? See ya. bit of a stream stutter there. I think it's my side. Hopefully everybody else is still running smoothly. Okay, I'm out of here. I am going into room four because it looks like that's a super room. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, trying to drop a bomb on me like that. Oh. Uh oh. 
Oh, oops. Got a slight bit of lag on my side there. Hopefully you guys are still okay. I think my wife has forgotten I'm streaming and has just turned on her phone or some something silly. Because my, my stream has just hit the dirt and is dropping frames, which it doesn't normally do. Yeah, I was lagging quite hard there. Which is the first blip we've had all night, really. Can't go wrong, really, for that. Can't complain. It seems to have sorted itself out now. While the game is still ongoing, I'm going to just look at my health of my stream. Just to see what's going on. Just going to look at stream health. Stream is healthy, apparently. So it must have just been on my end. Okay. As we were. So rooms three and four are still open. It's a bit of a stalemate in room three. Oh, but the white bomber has just hit the dirt. Mohawk black bomber man is in trouble. Solid snake is trying to bum rush the bombs. Oh! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! The gates are open! Let the battle begin. You may as well all pile into room four because that's the only one left. The Skunk Lord is in. Plom is in. They're both previous winners. And Jacob Boy, Nihilus and Fantai are hoping to get that first W on the board. No, oh, yeah, that's close. Hang on. You finished in the eighth in Zins. That's better than I did, my friend. That's better than I did. Now, what's this? Um, Ubisoft and Stadia just tweeted the September 10th event. Is this a hint for Uplay Plus coming to Stadia? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you, I'm afraid. But my educated guess was that, that it would be something to do with Assassin's Creed. I would imagine there's a new Assassin's Creed coming out. I reckon it will be day and date for Stadia. Good game, people. You came second, Roberto. Good job. Good job. Okay, everybody, queue up again. Let's rock and roll. Let's get straight back in. Yeah, I don't know much about the Ubisoft event, Nick, to be honest. Um, I don't tend to follow Ubisoft that closely uh, because all of the big games are kind of half expected. You know there's a new Assassin's Creed. You know that Rainbow Six uh, Siege is still going to go ahead. So I haven't really followed them a great deal lately. Um, Watch Dogs Legion looks interesting. I'm, I'm excited to play that. But I really want a new Splinter Cell. I want a new Splinter Cell. Give it to me! And I know he's now a new operator in Rainbow Six Siege, but it's not the same. It's not the same. We want we want Sam Fisher. We want Michael Ironside back. No, ins, ins. No, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. So what happens is, with crowd play, is after the game ends, everybody quits. It quits everybody out and you just start joining the queue again. It's so that big streamers, people with thousands of people in the queue, they just turn over their queue. You know, with a smaller streamer like me, it kicks everybody out. But with a bigger stream, you think if somebody's got a thousand people waiting to play, 
it wouldn't be fair to have those 64 people going over and over again. So it plays the game and then it drops everybody out and they just have to rejoin the back of the queue. It's not a bug, that's how it's intended to be. Okay, we've got 13 people in the room, 8 still in line. That's a good amount. Let's get it. Let's get everyone in. The music is getting into my head now. Shaking my booty. My arms are up. They almost want to start doing big fish, little fish in a box. But no, I'm holding them back in fists. No, it's happening. Big fish, little fish in a box. Big fish in a fish, little box. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Let's play again. This is fun. I'm not doing very well. I'm, in fact, I'm, I'm shite at this game. But I love Bomberman. It's just something... Something just really, really simplistic and cool. Just in an arena with bombs. A couple of tactics up your sleeve. A couple of friends, whether they be new friends or old. Just having a good time trying to beat each other senseless. It's, it's a good time. Good time. Okay, so I'm going to wait one more minute before we start this off. So, in the meantime, while we wait for the extra people to come in in the next minute, lots of new Stadia games have been released on Pro today. What's your favourite so far? Please let me know in the chat. What's your favourite Pro game that was released today? Was it Hitman? Was it Bomberman? Was it that um, that gun game that I've forgotten the name of again, um, which looks really cool and I can't wait to play? Was it Rock of Ages? Or are you pumped for Avengers coming out? You know, you can get that deluxe edition and play it now, or you can wait for a couple more days and play it on the 4th. Nick says, I may be asking a lot from Google, but I'd love to have the YouTube picture, the YouTube channel picture in picture when we launch Crowdplay and cut the game sound. Okay. That, that might be an option. Um, I'm sure they'd take that information on board. Jota, every time I try to rejoin after a match, it fails to find the room. Sadly, Crowdplay for Bomberman isn't working as smoothly as for MK. Well, you've got to bear in mind that with MK, it's just one person at a time. With this, it's 63. So I would expect a couple of hiccups, but that's why they couldn't release it on day one, I guess. It's just not quite ready. It's almost there. A patch could fix it, no problem. They must be working hard on that right now. Roy Ashley says, are you going to try out Marvel Avengers? Not on Stadia. Um, so when this whole exclusivity stuff started coming out from Square Enix, I cancelled my pre-order. I, I cancelled my pre-order, I was going to get it for the Xbox, um, and I said, nah, I'm not getting the Deluxe Edition, they're screwing people over, they're, they're, not, they're not being consumer friendly at all, I don't want it. So I cancelled my Deluxe Edition, but I forgot that I pre-ordered the game, the Standard Edition, two years ago. So um, I got an email notification yesterday saying that the game had been dispatched. So I, I, I do have the retail copy for Xbox coming in. I might check it out on Stadia as well, but um, but yeah, I'll be playing it predominantly on Xbox because that's the copy I've paid for. Nick, I only tried Bomberman today, but I think it's the one I wanted to try most along with Gunsport, yeah. Gunsport looks exciting. I, I am looking forward to playing it, um, but Bomberman was the big hitter for me as well. You put Bomberman in a room with any other game, and I'm probably going to pick Bomberman. Hmm. Okay, we've got a couple more people in. Jota is in. Stefan, where's the join button on Chromecast? Um, I'm not certain on Chromecast. I, I can't see the, um, the, the way to connect via Chromecast, but you should see a join button underneath the chat, which says... Play with Juggernaut or something similar like that, Stefan. All that you should need to do is hit that button and then Stadia will do the rest. 
Okay, but while well, minute is up, let's get this show on the road. We've got 22 people in the game. Let's go. I'm going to try a unique type. I'm going to be Princess Tomato. Wow, that's a throwback. Princess Tomato from the Salad Kingdom on the NES. Or NES. Yeah, Stefan, unfortunately, I don't think it works on mobile yet. I think it's only on desktop right now. Um, it might be on Chromecast. I, I couldn't tell you with 100% certainty. Uh, I, I don't work for Google, unfortunately, so I, I don't know the technical ins and outs. So um, while I will try and help people as much as I can, my knowledge is limited because I, I don't know how the infrastructure runs uh, with Crowdplay. I, I'm just the guy who's lucky enough to try it with you guys um, and, and test it for them in that regard. Playing it live with people all over the world with various internet connections and having a really good time doing it. Let's go. Good luck, people. We've got 22 in the room. And it's as smooth as butter again. It looks like that hiccup in the last game is gone. I'm starting to get some power-ups. I've got a glove. Oh, but I couldn't move. Nah, get out of my fist. Okay, now I have a boxing glove. But I've only got the one bomb. I'm not going to get that one. But I can lodge bombs out the way now, which is quite... No! Why did I do that? No! That was a mistake and a half. Ah, hey Jack! Cosmic Raptor! How are you doing, buddy? I have just completely embarrassed myself as you walked into the chat there, my friend. Okay, we've got a fair few people in room number five. We've got a fair few people in room number four. Let's go over to four. Let's see what's happening. Oh, somebody's down. Let's go over to room five. There's explosions all over the place on the mini-maps. Sean, did I start embarrassing myself when I met you? <laughs> Cosmic Raptor and uh, and Sean are uh, local friends. They are people I know in the real world. I used to work with Logic Q. When we worked in the gambling e sector many moons ago. Okay, four seconds till those gates open. Where's everyone going? Oh, five and six are closing. People are scrambling from room three into room four. It looks like this is where the party's at. It's a bomber party. So Didymus, Johto, Stadia Goat, and many other names that I couldn't read in time are all jostling and vying for position. And somebody is down and out and dropping his power-ups behind him. The white bomber man is with Alucard and he is in trouble. He is out of there. So we've got Richter, we've got two white bomber men, and we've got Malakard. Richter is down. He's lost a life. Still in the game. Oh, not anymore. Richter is out of here. Alucard and the two white bombers. Now we've got bouncing bombs, sliding bombs, exploding bombs, heavy flame on bombs. Who is going to go down first? Alucard takes himself out. He's lost his life as the White Bomber Man goes down again. And the White Bomber is down. Two people left in room four. Room four is the only room left. So everybody from room three is going to come in. In the shadows, Torn and El Kyle have entered the building. Only one more leave. 
Oh, and the white bomber's getting feisty. He's chucking bombs over the wall. He wants to take people out fast. And he succeeds taking himself out in the process. Oh! Yeah, Michael Young, I'm glad you have fun there, Michael. Your first time playing Bomberman? Well, welcome to the series, my friend. It's been around a long, long time, since 1983, I believe. Um, the first version was also known as Eric and the Floaters. <laughs> now, now, the Floaters is a slang over here in the UK for a, for a type of turd. So, Eric and the Floaters wasn't exactly the best name for the game. So they changed it to Bomberman, and it's had a few different names in its past. There's been Wario Blast, there's been Dino Blaster, but Bomberman has been the one that's stuck. It's been out on Super Nintendo, NES, it's been out on Turbo Graphics, which is PC Android. It's been out on um, PlayStation, Xbox, Xbox 360 had a version. It's been out on everything, but this is the best version so far. And L. Kyle takes it. Andy is starting to get the basics. The integration is freaking incredible. Yeah, it is. Crowd play is freaking incredible how it works. I am so happy that we get to play these games earlier. Have I won one yet? No, I haven't. I've won more crowns on Fall Guys than I have won Bomberman games. I've gotten to the top eight, but not in the winner. But then again, I'm focused on chat and I'm focused on the stream and everything else, and that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. It's not that I suck. No, no. Because I'm, um, yeah, monitoring things. Hmm, yes. Yeah, Michael, um, if you've not played Bomberman, there are a few mechanics that you need to get in the swing of. Different power ups, for example, allow you to do different things with the bombs, like kick, slide them across, or pick them up and throw them. Each character has special abilities. Hey, Stutter and Stick, how's it going, buddy? Hope you're well. I am very well, thank you. I am enjoying this crowd play. We are in the first in the well, we're not the first in the world, but we're one of the first channels in the world to be playing crowd play with Super Bomberman R Online. And it's fun. It's so much fun. Konami actually joined the chat before. So the Konami account <laughs> joined my chat in, in, in YouTube, and that was amazing. And their Twitter account retweeted my stream, which I'm over the moon for. I, can't, I still can't believe that, that Konami actually took the time out to do that. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. Um, we get this game on Stadia Pro for free if you have a Stadia Pro account. If you don't have a Stadia Pro account, then you just sign up for a free Stadia account sign up for a free one month trial that's available right now for it and you can claim this game and jump right into crowdplay by just hitting that button underneath my chat all you need to do is hit that play with juggernaut button let's uh see unfortunately um there's only one map for the battle 64 mode at the moment there are other modes which we could try, but it means that we need less people in the room. So at the moment we're playing Battle 64. We might spread out and do the other ones for now. Uh, but for now we'll do Battle 64 mode. Which allows 64 people to play online via Crowdplay. Yeah, Nick, I would have bought it as well. It's, it's $9.99 I think they want to charge for it. Um, if you don't have Pro. And it's well worth a tenner. Absolutely. Yeah, Zazinho, this is a, a Stadia exclusive game. You can only buy this uh, on Stadia. So uh, sign up for a free account. Sign up for that free Pro and, and get to play it and enjoy it. And if you think it's worth the money to lay down for the Pro, which I think you will, um, then by all means, let it run. Let it run. But you get a month for free and you can play all the games, not just this, all of the games that come on Pro. Panzer Dragoon Remake. Um, Destiny 2, PUBG, although PUBG is not that great on the Stadia to be honest, but it's there, you can play it. Um, Strange Brigade, um, Rock of Ages 3, there's, there's loads of free games on Pro, it's well worth the money in my opinion. So sign up for the free trial, try it for nothing, and then if you want to continue your subscription, 
then it's something like eight pound a month. It's it's well worth it. Nick says it's better than the Switch version um, of Super Bomberman R. I didn't play the Switch version. Um, Ryan, have you got Stadia? If you've got Stadia, have you got the free Pro Trial? If you've got the free Pro Trial, did you claim the game? You need to claim the game onto your account. Once you've done that, you should be able to jump in. You just hit that join button in my underneath my chat. You'll be able to jump into the game with everybody else. Okay, we're going to get this going fairly soon. There are no players in line right now, so we've got 17 of us in the room. We'll give it one minute. One minute from now. Yeah, you've had no input lag on your end. I haven't either. Um, you know, it seems like some games are better than others. PUBG, I did notice a slight bit of lag, um, which put me off, but... Mortal Kombat, the same lag as playing online against anybody on a regular console. This, no lag whatsoever that I can tell. You know, it's it's extremely minimal. I'm using the Stadia controller, so I don't know whether there's lag with um, Xbox One controller or not. But uh, with the Stadia, the Wasabi, there is, there is no perceivable lag from what I can tell. Stefan. Now I'm in with Chromecast. I joined on the laptop, closed and opened on TV just as I left. Awesome. So it does work on Chromecast. Fan dabby dozy. Right. Our minute is just about up. We have 17 in the room. Let's go. Root, I am loving the controller, my friend. It's got a nice bit of weight to it. The vibration is, is very solid. The, the button layout is very similar to a PS4. And I'm not a huge fan of the PS4 controller. But I'm it's spaced ready. out far enough for my fingers not to touch on the analog sticks. The problem with a PS controller, my thumbs touch. Whereas this, I've got a bit of room in between them. Um, everything feels weighty. The D-pad is nice and clicky. The buttons are responsive. My only gripe, and that's because my fingers aren't used to it, is that where the screenshot button is, I keep expecting that to be the start button, which is further up. So when I hit that, sometimes I'll take a screenshot instead of pausing the game. But that's just me getting used to the controller. Everything else on this bad boy is beautiful. I love it. Really cool. And the, the colour the color scheme is incredible. That wasabi, it just looks so lush. Okay. I've got a flame. And two extra bombs. Now I can start really doing some damage to these blocks. I'm going to play it safe though. I don't want to destroy myself. Like that, bollocks. I am dead. I got too greedy. There's my life gone. Ooh, that was a huge chain reaction. Oh no, I've been squirted on. Ooh, okay. It's not safe to go that way. I am going north. I'm going up to room five. I'm going to take these power-ups. Uh, I think I'm going to mosey on over to room three. Star is on room 5, but it's too dangerous. Oh, crap. I'm dead already. Look at that. You got me good and proper. I am at 14th out of 17. Nicely played. Slimy. Conniving. Evil ones. Oh! And Richter takes out the white bomber at the same time as well. He's taking this quite a bit. Right, let's move over to room 4. Where we've got double a la carte action with a princess tomato that's about to get crushed in between bombs but escapes at the last minute now what's she gonna do she is gonna duck and cover good job she's got that sliding bomb power up saved her butt on many an occasion 
Five seconds till gates open. Three, two, one. All the rooms are open now. Four and three are the only ones left. Nobody's sure of where to go. They're all staying put apart from Jota. Jota is coming in. The room four. The tomato is a gone. But the pop and music bunny girl that I can't remember the name of is in. Oh, but she gets crushed with a bouncing bomb from the bottom side. Alucard is streaking bombs in his backside. He has gone to nothing but dust to try and escape the blast of his own making. The White Bomberman is trying to play it safe. He's going slow and steady and stationary while bombs are blowing up all around him. The calm in the chaos. And it's working for him for now. But Richter is throwing spike bombs trying to get that combination, that chain reaction going. Oh! And he escapes with his dusty a la carte. Now a room four is the only one that remains. We have five players left. We have Plom. He's a regular finisher. Skunk Lord has finished in the last room a couple of times also. Al Kyle has got a win under his belt too. This is going to be close. This is going to be action packed. This is going to be dazed and confused in the bottom left hand corner with Alucard. Nothing but dust and bones. The answer, my friend, is not blowing down bot. Two of them are dead. Alucard is breezing on through those bombs. I'm losing track. There are so many Alucards. Which one's which? Who knows? Who cares? One of them is out of the game. But he's got an extra life. Another Alucard has bitten the dust and dropped his power up. White Bomberman is punching bombs over to the other side of the map. Richter wants to follow suit. Alucard is just trying to vie for position at this point. He's waiting for that bomb. The room is going to feel awfully small in a moment. The walls are closing in. Bye bye, White Bomber. That's the Alucard versus the Richter. Dust versus the Squirter. Oh, and he is nothing but dust and bones as he walks to his own demise, and Al Kyle takes the win. Congratulations, Al Kyle. And the room starts again. Yeah, Alucard seems to be a bit OP. <laughs> fact that he can just turn to mist and run away from the bombs but I don't think you can time when he actually comes out of that so um, there's there's bound to be some sort of way to block him Ryan Johnson just missed it you'll wait for the next game well the next game is now my friend uh, Root I will be streaming till midnight at least. I might stay up a bit later, but it's quarter past ten right now. So uh, we've got a, we've got we've got nearly two hours at least to, to enjoy. I'm I'm not gonna stop for a while. Hell no. I might not be any good at the game, but I'm having a good time being bad at it. Okay, big owl. Big Al UK has joined the room. Hey, Big Al. I am Papa Pick up a Papa Penguin. Mmm. Penguin cake whilst. Mmm. Cocaine in a packet. Okay, how many have we got ready to rock? We've got 18 people in the line.
Stadia, I'm glad that you're loving the stream, pal. If you haven't already, don't forget, guys, if you are loving the stream like Stadia Goat is, please do me a favour. It's something that's really special to me. It's something that I love, and it makes me feel so good. Please go ahead, subscribe to me, and touch my bell end. That way you will be notified of whenever I go live. You'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And it will make me feel all tingly inside. So please do. Please subscribe. Please touch that bell notification. If you touch my, touch my dingling, it makes me very, very happy. Okay? So please do that. And if you want to be super awesome, then I've got a Patreon account. The link is up at the top. You know, it's juggernaut just like everything else is. Um, I've got membership options as well on YouTube where you can get a few extra perks. You may have seen people like Root have an Excite Bike icon next to their name. That means that they are a valued member of my channel. That means that they get a couple of extra perks like you do, behind the scenes footage, extra access to things. Sometimes I release um, free Steam keys, for example. Um, the other day I gave out a couple of Steam keys that I had laying around. I gave them to my members on my channel. So you get things like that, extra giveaways, extra early access. Um, when we're not playing things like Stadia, they are, I will also invite them to come and join me and play games through Parsec or, or through online services. And we'll have stream with members days, that kind of thing. So yeah, if, you, if that interests you, then you can hit the member icon uh, on my YouTube channel and you can become a member. I've tried to make the membership options as cheap as I possibly can. It's just dropping me a little bit of a tip, really. Um... This is my hobby. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm not big. Uh, well, I'm, well, I'm big, but <laughs> not that kind of big. I'm not famous or anything daft like that. I don't earn a lot of money for my YouTube channel. It's whatever I do and gets reinvested. And the more that you subscribe, the more people that are interested in what I do, the more chance we get people like Konami jumping into the freaking chat and saying great stuff. And, um... That enables us to get early access to things that I can share with you guys, like Crowdplay, you know? So, help me, help you, help me, help you, if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is, please be a member or please subscribe to my channel. You know, that's all I'm really asking. Just subscribe and hit my dingling. You know, give it a, give it a bit of a flick with your mouse. You know, anything else is gravy. I'm not really expecting for you to uh, to do much more than that but if you like what I do then that would really that would really do me proud Stefan you're four out of four in the queue for five minutes that's interesting can you try and rejoin the queue please can you try and refresh what we might have to do is we might have to on the next game if people are having issues We'll do like we did last time. We'll just close the, uh, the the room and reopen it. But it seems like we've got 20 people in that aren't having issues, Stefan. So hopefully a quick refresh of your browser will solve the problem. Fingers crossed. Oop. I have just got rid of my Crowdplay options on my stream. Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the wrong key combination. And I got rid of my little pop-out window that shows me how many people are in the stream and how many people are in the queue. That's clever, isn't it? Okay, and we're back. Andy N says, when the game is running, I notice that you have to be in the main menu to make joining work. Ah, uh, it shouldn't do. What it normally does is it opens a brand new tab. So that's what I've been told happens. I haven't seen it myself, personally, of course because I only ever see my side. But um, I've been told that it opens up a new window so that the uh, the stream itself doesn't get disturbed whatsoever. So, um, yeah, it's interesting that you mention that. Okay, but we've waited a minute. So I think we've got 21 people in the wings. Let's do this thing. I'm going for flamey-eyed red guy. He's got powerful bombs and he's got two of them, but he's as slow as I am. Hopefully not slow mentally. 
Okay, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good luck. Have fun. And don't forget, Google are watching the stream. They are watching the chat. They are taking notes. So if you have any feedback, good or bad, or anything in between, put it in the chat. Let Google know what you think of this crowdplay feature. Let, let people know what issues you've been having. The more feedback we give them, the better they can make the service. So just, just go for it. Just be brutally honest in the chat. I'm sure they will appreciate it as long as you're... You're polite with it and you don't just call them a bunch of raving lunatics or what have you. Oh, somebody's down already. Down to 20 out of 21 people. I'm getting my skates. Oh! That was my mistake. Oh, that was my mistake too. That was ridiculous. That was awful on my on my bot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I I killed myself twice in a row in no time. Let's look for a bit more action. Let's go over to room five. Gates are open. Where are they going? Big Al, Doctor Harshu, stay here. Go. Where are you gonna be? I wouldn't go down there if I were you boys. You gonna stay where you are? Okay, we're staying in room five. Yeah, there are a lot of people in room three. Let's go over to there. There's explosions going. Left, right and center. The tomato has been squished. And now she's getting sandwiched. Alucard is down. The tomato survives. What on earth is going on there? What? One is dragging the other? What's going on? Is that a power up? What the hell? I am lost. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, she's tagged along. Right, okay. That might be her ability. We got seven seconds. The world is about to get a lot smaller. Rooms five and six are gone. Room four, Big Al, look we, Dr. Harsh, you steady your goat and inns are vying for position. But the majority of them have moved over to room three. It's like that 4th of July in here. I'm just seeing people shoot off like fireworks in multiple directions. Whoa! Whoa! Where's everybody gone? I can't even keep up. I don't know what's happening. My brain is melting. Ah, uh, Richter's being a bit of a, a sly one. Trying to throw bombs from the bottom of the screen into the top via the wall bounce. And it worked. It's taken somebody out. Two Alucards, one Black, one Richter in room three. But not for long. And then there were three in room three. There were three in room four as well. We've got an Alucard, we've got a Tomato, and we've got a Pink Bomber. No Alucard anymore though. And room four is the place to be. It's the only place to be, because everything else is about to get very, very squished. <laughs> Nick tried Alucard and still sucked. Well, I, I killed myself at the beginning of the match twice. So you did better than I did, Nick. Oh! you got to watch out for this guy in the bottom corner. All he likes to do is toss. Look at him go. I would call him a tosser, but that would be rude to a guest on my channel. But it works. Look at him go. 
He is ruining people's days. Oh, Pink has been knocked down, dazed, confused, but not dead. Yeah, that's the uh, the tomato special attack by the look of it, just to, to grab hold of the next person nearby. Oh, the pink is out, red is gone. Then there were two. We got the pink against the Richter, and it's a double KO! For now, Kyle takes it. He must have had an extra life. Well done, Al Kyle. I thought that was going to be our first double KO. Oh, well played. You are on fire with that cheeky little champ of yours. I see your game. You like to hide in the corner out of harm's way. Unlucky ends. That was a good run. Speaking of run, run on into the next game. Come on, join the queue. Jump in. If you haven't got a Stadia account, then what are you doing? Get a Stadia account. You can get a free one, and then you can have a free trial of Stadia Pro, and you can play this game for nothing right now via the YouTube link. If you have got a Stadia account, great stuff. If you've got a Stadia Pro account, even better. Come on, join the fun doesn't matter whether you're good at the game or not I'm, I'm terrible at it but I'm having a great time and I'm hoping that everybody else in this chat everybody on the channel that's been here all evening is having a great time playing this too if it's your first time playing crowd play don't worry it won't hurt you you just need to click the join getting button underneath my chat that's all you need to do and you can just jump in now, Crowdplay at the moment is designed for desktop PCs in mind. You might be able to get away with using it on a Chromecast or, or a mobile phone. Um, but at the moment, what Google have told me is that it works on Chrome-based web browsers on PC. So, um, if it works on anything else, then that's good for you. But it's not fully supported yet, or at least it's still being worked on. So, you may get a couple of hiccups and issues. But don't worry, normally they can be resolved just by refreshing pages, leaving the game and coming back in. We've not seen an issue that we haven't been able to fix by just refreshing something. Whether that's my side or whether it's the player's side. So, don't worry about the technical aspects. That's the great thing about Stadia. You don't need to worry. You don't need to worry if you've got a beefy PC or whether you're running on a crap top. You know, something that's that's a pile of junk from eight years ago. It doesn't matter as long as you've got enough processor to run a web browser smoothly. And as long as you've got an internet connection, then you're good to go with Stadia. That's the great thing about it. You know, you don't need a top-of-the-range PC. You don't need to worry about updates. Oh, look, I want to play Call of Duty. Oh, what's this? A 100 gig update? Go fuck yourself. No, um, this is literally... Bang, you, you hit that button. A few seconds later, you're in the game. That's the great thing about Crowdplay. And you can play with your favourite streamers with Crowdplay as well. I mean, you just go to their stream, and if they're on Crowdplay, you hit that Crowdplay button, and away you go. And if your favourite streamer's unavailable, then you can come over to me and play on my channel. Because I love Crowdplay, and we're lucky enough to have it fixed onto the channel, onto my channel. So, um... I'm able to stream this whenever we want. Whenever I've got demand for it, whenever I've got time for it, I will happily play foul play with you guys. If you have a chance, you need to tell Konami we should turn off the music though, during menus. I'm sure you'll be able to change it in your options, right? You'll be able to turn down the music. I kind of dig it. It's, it's fun, it's happy music. It's like the Fall Guys. I, I know I keep talking about Fall Guys every now and again, but the Fall Guys music, it's just irritatingly catchy, and it's beautiful. And it, it sticks with you after the game is gone, and it reminds you of how much fun you had playing that game. 
This is the same kind of deal. I join with the button on PC and it doesn't go into the room. Okay, um, it should do. It's saying that it's unable to find a joinable room. Okay, we may need to disconnect and reconnect in that case. Uh, okay, guys, if it seems like a couple of people that were having games before are having trouble getting in. So I am going to... Yeah, Owen's got an error as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the room and reopen it. Okay, guys? So you might get kicked out of your queue, but don't worry. You'll be able to jump straight back in again. Yeah, we, we've getting a few people that are getting that message. So we're just going to go ahead and close the room. And we're going to create a new one. Hopefully that will solve the issue. If not, then I will disconnect Crowdplay temporarily and reconnect it. And that will fix the problem. Okay, but don't worry. Don't worry. Google are very interested in feedback. They're very interested in what you guys have to say. They're very interested in discovering new problems and new, new things to solve. Okay. So the more feedback we can give them through this testing period, the better. Because they can make the service more reliable, more stable, more improved. They can add features that you guys want to see. Just, just make sure that you let them know. Let them know on the chat because... They said they were going to review the chat and review the videos and review the stream. They they might even still be lurking in the shadows as we speak. I don't know. The Google ninjas might be amongst us. If not, then I'm sure they will take the data that they're getting from the stream. They will take that on board and they will use it. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't go ahead. Stadia has a feedback button. Um, I don't have access to it here without closing the, the crowdplay. But there is um, a feedback button on your Stadia main page. And um, what you can do is give them feedback directly through the Stadia.com webpage. You can give them your advice. You can give them your, your suggestions. You can give them your issues, your technical feedback. You can give them anything you want. You know, as long as you're polite when you do it. You can give them anything negative, anything positive. They will take everything on board as long as you frame it politely. Don't go, you stuck, it doesn't work, your crap is garbage. Because that's not really positive feedback. But if you tell them what problems you're having, what you saw, hopefully they will be able to take that and fix it. It never hurts to be polite. Okay, so this time we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of the 64... We are going to play a 16-player game now. And we are going to check out some of these new levels. So we've got the old-school level. We've got Diamond Rock, Pixel Land, Power Zone, Close Guard, Central Yard, Long Planter. But we are going random all the way. And we are going to start... Okay, here we go. Ah, there are too many people in. Right. I thought it would split us up, but it didn't. So, we will go back to Battle 64 for this one. As there are 18 of us instead of 16, we will do this thing. Who am I going to play as? I'm going to play as Pyramid Head. For Google, also make voice chat and normal chat in game. Some games do support voice chat. Um, it automatically detects your microphone and your headset when you start those games up. PUBG is one of them. Um, I tell you what, the Stadia thing, I've, I've been a long-running Apple fan, but... I'm tempted to get an Android device just for just for crowd play now. Google, if you're listening, if you want to send me a Pixel 4, I know it's a long shot. I'm right here, man. I'm right here. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not expecting you to do that. 
But I will, I will pick up a, an Android device at some point, I think. Between, between Crowdplay and Xbox Game Pass, I, I don't see myself staying in the Apple ecosystem any longer. And I have been a die-hard Apple fan, but in terms of their phones, for what? Six or seven iterations now? But, but no more. No more. We will go and move over to Android. Ah! No! I am dead! I am an ex-pyramid head! Okay, I am leaving there. I'm gonna grab a glove. And I'm moving on up. scary. The longest I've lasted for quite a while. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh-oh. I've screwed the pooch. Okay. I'm moving into room number three. Oh, you would sneak in here, wouldn't you? Ah, took me out. Hi, Rose Darkly. How are you? Two other cards and a white bomber. We're running around room three. Let's see how four is going on. We've got headbands aplenty with the other card and the nurse. I'm sure I've seen a video like that. Oh! Boom, bang a bang, bye bye. In the shadows is appropriately named because he snuck away. Nyla Skunklord. Skunklord is repeatedly in these final four rooms. He is one to watch, but Alucard is sneaking through. He vaporized himself to escape the bomb, but he walks face first into the explosion. You, may I have another? That's one life down. I don't think he's completely out. No, he's not. He is in the game still. But the Alucard might not be for much longer. Alucard is still vying for position. He's pushing the Mad Nurse. And the Nurse has buckled. Alu on Alu. And Alu breaks away with the special move. But his timer is not going to give him the chance to do it twice in a row. But he is still in the game. Which Alu? Which Alu's it going to be? 
it's hard to keep track of which one's going where. But one has spiky bombs, one has smooth moves. Who is going to win? Oh! Skunk Lord is our winner. Well done, Skunk Lord. I said he's one to watch. He's, he's repeatedly in that final room. Skunk Lord's a survivor, man. Well done, Skunk Lord. Okay, and this time we are going to do a uh, standard battle with uh, with new things. We're going to turn the special abilities off, and we're going to go for a random level, and we're going to open the room again. So we will have 16 people in this room. Jump on! Okay, everyone. Here we go. Stadia Goat is in. Saizu is in. In the Shadows is in. Color. Fanti R. Wampa Skunk Lord again. Fuse. Jota. Nihilus. Who else? Ros Darkly, how you join? Well, if you've got a Stadia Pro account and you have already claimed Bomberman, Super Bomberman or online, then you just hit the join button underneath the chat. It will say play with Juggernaut, join Juggernaut or something like that. That's all you need to do. If you don't have a Stadia account, then just sign up for one. It's free. Then you can use the free pro trial for a month to claim this game. So you, you go for your free trial, you unlock the free trial, then you go and claim the game, okay? And then you can hit the button under my chat and you'll be able to play with us. Nick, somebody should make a video tutorial about how to join Crowdplay. Well, I do have some slides that were presented to me for, for my side of things. Uh, unfortunately, they don't give me too much information about what you guys see because it will vary depending on what your device that you're using is, what jurisdiction you're in, and so on and so forth. But they did give me basic slides just to just to say this is how this works. Um, with Super Bomberman R Online, it works slightly different to Mortal Kombat. It's not quite as ubiquitous as Mortal Kombat was. But once you've done it once or twice, you know what's going on. You know how to play. It's just that first go. But don't be afraid, there's a first time for everything. And once you've got a taste for it, there's no going back. We're waiting for one more to max out our 16 players for this particular game mode. So we just need one more person. Hop on in, like Giovanni and RJVXD did. And El Kyle and Gundara. And all these other wonderful fine people that are in this room. Okay. Have we got one more? Have we got one more in? Or do we just run with 15? There's our 16th Octonian. Oh, more people have joined than actually the room could cope with. So we are going to flick it back to regular battle 64 so that everyone can play i'm not kicking people out no sorry we are just gonna play yeah there is a lot of potential there andy in crowd play you're absolutely right and games like this are the way forward for it you know full guys super bomber man that that new um outsiders game we bend shots around in teams uh, MOBAs, maybe if they could get something like a, like a League of Legends style game in there, that would be a great one. Where you can just jump in as a team of five and, and play against another team of five. Now, and the end, I, I don't see them releasing a plugin for Twitch. You think of it from, from Google's angle, okay? Why would you release a key feature that's exclusive to your platform? Why would you release that on another platform? I, I honestly don't see 
a Twitch plugin happening. Or at least not officially from Google anyway. Uh, because that would cannibalize their own market. It will be only on YouTube officially. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Oh, the white is down, blocked in by the beast. That is my bomb. Ah! I was greedy, I went for the flame, I wasn't expecting his explosion to be quite so big, quite so fast. He must have picked up a gold icon. Speed up! Go for the flame. Yes, there we go. Let's go! I'm going up. Up to room five. Oh, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Uh, Andy, unfortunately I can't present the slides that were given to me. Um, it has uh, Google employee names on it and things I can't share. Uh, regretfully. Um, as much as I would like to, uh, I did not get clearance to share them with, with people. So, um, unfortunately, I don't want to upset Google. I don't want to run the risk of having this removed from my channel. And I certainly don't want to give Google employees names out to the public. Uh, so, I'm sorry, I won't, I won't be able to do that for you. going. I'm down to my last life. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're down. Oh no, you're not down. You just took out a little creature. Now you're down. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, they got me. I have got no lives left. I need something, anything. Give me that stuff. No, get out of my way. Oh, diffusion tactics dominated the area. Oh my! Look at all these power-ups. Happy days. And now we're entering the fray. In the shadows. RJXVD. Jota 3. Final 4 along with me. I see you. Trying to throw bombs at me. And it worked. I'm out. Oh no, I got an extra life. Oh, awesome. I'm still in the game, boys. Not for long, but I'm in the game. Ugh. I'm not going to risk it. It's too risky, man. Got him. Get 
and now it's getting scary. This is the best I've done so far in this game, though. And I'm gone. The moment I say that, I lose the extra life that I've been collecting. Yes! We win one! Huzzah! I am Bomber 1! Good game, everybody. Good game. Bomber 1. Woohoo! Frickin' finally. Good game, people. Good game. That was a close one. Domination of the uh, the room is what saved me because I lost so many lives, so many lives. Okay, let's go. The room is open. Everybody, queue up. And while you're queuing up, as I said before, make me feel all tingly. Subscribe. And touch the bell end. Touch my bell end. It makes me feel so good when you do that. And as a favour to you, when you touch my bell end, you will be notified of whenever I go live, whether that's on a crowd play stream, a stadia stream, a retro stream, or whether I upload a long form video like my top list. You touch my bell end, and I will let you know wherever I am. And if you want to go further than touching the dingling, then you can always become a member of the channel. You get extra perks, you get some, some nice little emojis and things like that. You get some behind the scenes footage, you get free keys. I give out free keys occasionally for Steam games and bits and pieces. You know, you get, you get some nice little perks. And uh, I also have a Patreon if you like doing the Patreon thing. <laughs> Sean has an only fan account. Yeah, yeah, I have an OnlyFans account. I make you pay me money to keep my clothes on. 50 quid or the shirt comes off. I'm wanting you. I've just seen my viewership go from 43 to 4. <laughs> Start taking my shirt off and watch them all leave. <sighs> Take my money! You want to see my nipple tassels really, Stadia, don't, don't you? Woo, 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 woo. Okay, we have three people left in line. Jump on. Jump on, we've got room for three more. we got actually got room for lots more, because this game can take up to 64 players, but we have 43 people in the chat right now. We have people in line in the queue. We will wait for one more minute for more people to jump in. Um, if not, we will go as we are. And if we do go as we are, I'm going to set the battle mode to standard so that we can check this mode out. Okay. So you've got about a minute. A minute for the next game. <clears throat> Everyone's still having a good time playing this for what three hours now no sign of stopping it's too much fun to stop <laughs> RJ the last one made you sweaty are you sure it wasn't just the game and not me talking about my nipple tassels a few minutes ago that makes you sweaty RJ <laughs> no it was a good fun game it was very close my palms are a bit a bit tacky as well 
Oh, both, eh? Yeah. I'm glad you're having fun, Giovanni. Glad you're having fun. Okay, so we've had about a minute now, so I think everybody's ready to go. I had luck with Simon Belmont, so I am going to pick Simon Belmont again. That's cool, Nick. Thanks for stopping by. If this is the last game, well, I wish you good luck for your game. Don't forget to let me win. The five is in the post. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So in this mode, when you die, you can become a revenge cart on the sidelines and throw bombs into the arena at the people that are still left alive. So this is a slightly different mode to Battle 64. This is more the traditional Bomberman. And uh, as there are 16 of us and it's a maximum of 16 players, this is the time to check it out. Oh shit, this is uh this looks nice, man. Mission. Characters are a little bit smaller. It's a bit more hectic because we're all in the same room. Oh, somebody's down. I win. How the hell did I win? I have no idea what I did. Okay. How did I win that game? I should really check the instruction manual, huh? Gotcha. Okay, this is getting a wee bit scary. Oh, I blew myself up. So where's my revenge card? Which one am I? Oh, there's so much going on, I don't even know right now. Oh, there I am. I'm in the bottom right-hand corner. There are more people in revenge cards than there are in the game. Okay, we're in the last minute. All the revenge cards are gone. Three people remain. One person remains. Fantia wins. Johto 3 survives. Uh oh. Oh, somebody was very close to getting absolutely smashed then. I don't even know what's going on at this point. What I do know is that guy is quicker than me. If it wasn't for that, he would be brown bread dead. Wait, well, I win. I don't know how I won. But I win. Okay. I got a score of two. However that works. Let's check the rules, shall we? Shall we? Um, because... I don't know what happened there. That was very weird indeed. So, um... Hmm. Perhaps it's like you, you, you do enough damage to survive or something doesn't actually give me any more information about that game mode. Let's, let's do another one of those. That was, that was interesting. 
It's a lot more manic when you're all in the same room from the moment you start. Let's uh, let's pick another random level. Let let the computer decide. Stay to your goat is in. Fancy is in. Lashmu is in. Skunk Lord is in. Who else is coming in? Chikoan. Octonion. Another last one, says Nick. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those games where one more game turns into three in the morning. Sizing on one part, I've jumped into. Marco GLP 98, Nihilus. Don't have three. Rebel Droid C3PO. Star Wars fan by any chance? Okay, we're just waiting for three more people. So we've got a full team of 16. We'll wait one minute, and if we don't see more people in one minute, we will go as we are. We'll keep this train rolling. While we enjoy this awesome music. Very catchy. Howard is in. Just two more. About 30 seconds left before we start. I should really do one of these, shouldn't I? I don't tend to do these very often. But let's roll a minor ad break. So some of you in the chat will be seeing an advert right now. They last about 30 seconds. So by the time that advert's finished, we'll be good to go. I keep forgetting about adverts. I don't like to use them too often. I might use one or two a night, which isn't bad in a four hour stream really, but I keep forgetting to do it. Bad YouTuber, naughty, naughty boy. Um, okay, but it looks like we have had our fill. So let's begin the battle. I'm going to stick with Simon. Simon seems to bring me luck. At least he's not the vain Simon Belmont from Captain N and the Game Master. Do you remember that show? That was a cartoon of my childhood, that. With Kid Icarus, who just added Icarus. Oh, Icarus to every word Icarus. Because he's a dickicus. And you had Mega Man, who sounded like he smoked 60 a day. And the evil mother brain. Such a good, cool show. It was basically a giant Nintendo advert, but it's a Nintendo advert that I watched every single week when I was a kid. Okay, boys and girls, good luck. Have fun. Oh, this looks one. crazy. Oh, what's happening? Ha ha! Calling all ships. Remain vigilant. What? Uh. Oh, this is the time when I do mention that this is early access. <laughs> this is early access crowd play. We we have to expect sometimes there'll be a bit of a, a screw up every now and again. <laughs> I wonder if it's to do with this actual level. 
Okay, everybody that's in the game, all 16 of us. <laughs> we will have to quit. Okay. As I say, folks, part and parcel of trying things out when it's pre-release. You know, we have to bear in mind that Crowdplay isn't at retail yet. But we will see the occasional hiccup. We will open up spaces in the room again. Okay. And what level was that? I'm interested to see if it's just the level. So let's go for it again. It was this one, wasn't it? Long Planter. Yeah. Okay. So the room is open again, guys. <laughs> A minor hiccup. Refresh if you can't get back in. Everybody jump it back in. And we will do the same level and see if the same thing happens. Let's see whether it's just a hiccup or whether it's something to do with that, that particular level. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, indeed, Fantiar. Okay, we're halfway there. We've got eight people in the game. It's Doritos o'clock. Other crisps are available. But they're not available to me right now. <clears throat> okay, we're just waiting on a few more people to hop on in. Anyway, aside from that light, little hiccup, is everyone still having a good time? Is everybody still enjoying crowdplay and playing Bomberman? Joe Mama, what you need to do is first get a Stadia account. If you have a Stadia account, then you need to get a pro Stadia account. Now, if you don't have pro already, you can sign up for a free trial right now, a free one month trial. And then once you have pro, you go and claim Bomberman, Super Bomberman R Online. It's free for pro members. You just need to go into the store and claim it. Once you've claimed the game, refresh my chat on YouTube and you will see a play with Juggernaut or join Juggernaut button underneath the chat. Then you just hit that button and Stadia and Crowdplay will do the rest for you. Okay, I hope to see you in soon, Joe. In the meantime, we're just waiting for a couple more people. We've got 33 people watching right now still, but only 12 are in the game. What's the best of you guys? Come on, jump in, have fun. Come on, have fun with us, bomber man. Is the great equaliser. Doesn't matter if you're great at games, doesn't matter if you suck at them. Bomberman is something that everybody of every skill level can play. Just jump in, get that Stadia account, get that pro. Claim the game, jump on in. Let's have let's have a good night. Okay, we'll go for one more minute, one more, and then it's game time. Anybody else feeling brave? 
anybody else want to jump in and have some fun? Come and join crowd play. You've been watching it. You've been enjoying it so far. Come and be part of it. Okay. When the minute is up, let's start the battle. I'm going to stick with Simon. And let's see what happens this time. Good luck, people. Roll call, please. There's a Raiden. Okay. Let's see. Is it going to work? Better than the jungle. Yay! <laughs> Second time's a charm. Oh, the Vic is down. Took him out. The White Bomber is nearly out too. Ooh, okay. Gonna get some power-ups. Hey! No, no, no. Oh, people in the revenge carts are hovering over my body. Oh, and I'm out. I'm in a revenge cart myself now. Green, I've got your number, buddy. I'm going for you. Oh, cool. When you're in a revenge card, you kill somebody, you take their place, you jump back into the game. Oh, that's really awesome. That's not awesome, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Green is a goner. Wow, look at how fast white is. What can you do against that? Oh, I'm getting those. I'm getting those roller skates. No! Ugh. No! poisoned. I can't drop any bombs. Ah! No! Right at the end. Saizu takes it. Well done, Saizu. Perfect wipe is too quick for my my humble Simon Belmont. Oh, I blew myself up. Lots got taken out in that little fracas. I need to get myself in. I need to take one of these guys out. I need to do it quick before there aren't anybody to take out left. Ah, not in this time. Yeah, this mode is like Saturn Bomberman. This is traditional Bomberman. Um, and it's 
that's still a lot of fun. If I remember rightly, the Revenge Cart came in in Bomberman 2 or 3? Super Bomberman 2 or 3? And they've been a staple since. Speaking of staple, he was trying to staple me to that bomb. He scuppered my plans. I scuppered right. Oh, right. My only hope is a revenge bomb. Hard to take him out though because he's got the uh, the kick. Much on the luck up here actually. Nope. We've got white on white. It's Wampa versus Jota. Who's gonna take it? Oh, Jota scores one. Wow, people are diving. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I knew that was a mistake. Mistakes were made. I shouldn't have gone for it. That was greedy. And very, very dumb. Their revenge cards are in. Oh, Howard gets one. Howard ten twenty nine. I'll protect everybody. Gotcha. Full on concentration mode now, Pete, in case you haven't noticed. Gotta watch out for those revenge. Those revengers. Ah! Ah! Oh, somebody took me out and they're back in the game. What I want to do with this white bomber. Oh, not so lucky on this one. Who wins? Jota three takes one. That's two nil. Well done, Jota. Good game. I came up scratch on that one. Now we know it's not that stage. I'm gonna mix up a few of the um, the positions. We're gonna start the out of bounds attacks from no matter when. Okay, everybody, jump on in the queue again. Who's hopping in? Fanti R. And while we're waiting for the room to fill up, while I remember to do it, I'm going to hit that advert button again. Some of you may see adverts, some of you may not. Okay. People 
it's still filtering through. Anybody else coming to jump on in? Andrew McAuliffe. Any ideas on when Stadia YouTube streaming is going to go public? Well, do you mean um, the OBS equivalent where you stream directly through Stadia? Um, no, no. If that's what you're asking, then no, I don't. Yeah, um, I, I don't know when that feature is going to go live. Um, and I don't have any further information to share on that at the moment. Um, Google haven't shared anything about that side of things with me. So uh, I don't know if I'll get to experience that feature really. Um, it's not been discussed at this point. So at the moment, I'm just using Crowdplay. I'm not using their streaming side of things at all. I'm using OBS to stream with. You never know, um, when that feature gets closer to being launched, I might be lucky and they might ask me to test that. But um, they might use a completely different test subject for that too. I couldn't tell you. Um, but hopefully it will be sooner rather than later. There's been a big push on Stadia stuff lately. Um, a big push. You notice they're spending a lot of money getting a lot of exclusive games. A lot of talk, a lot of conjecture, a lot of new releases coming out. The ball is starting to roll starting to pick up speed and um, Stadia is starting to definitely show what perks it has to offer against other more traditional systems. You look at COD Warzone and you look at the patches and everyone complaining about 80 gig patches, well you don't have to worry about that with Stadia. If you want to play a game you don't have to wait an hour to update or two or three. You can just jump in, hit the button and go. And it seems that a lot of people are starting to get it now. A lot of people were also apprehensive about potential lag and things, but um, those, those, those fears are starting to get dispelled for a lot of people. Okay, it seems like the um, the players in line is taking a little while longer than it normally would. Seems like everything's okay though. Now they're starting to feed through. Okay, we've got 10 people in the room. Is anybody else joining? We've got 30 people watching. 10 of you are in the queue. Anyone else? There are 20 of you that may not have played Crowdplay before. There are 20 of you that might be afraid to hit that button because they don't know what to expect. There may be 20 of you that are just watching me make a fool of myself. But come and do it in the game! Come and play! Come and play! Let's all forget the world's troubles. I can't because island, says Sean. You land where exactly? Alright, five on five. And now can I say I'm officially Konami endorsed? <laughs> on my on my channel now. Endorsed by Konami! It was unexpected for Konami to drop on by. I thought it was cool enough that they retweeted some of my stuff on Twitter, but for them to actually jump in chat and share it on their page? 
Hell yeah, that's awesome. I'm really pleased. It's been a good night for me, and I hope it's been good for you guys as well so far. We won't be on for too much longer because I do have work early in the morning. Um, but we'll be on for a little bit, so we'll, we'll get a couple of games on before I have to bid you adieu. Oh, this is a bit scary. Big wide open spaces. Ah, it must be agoraphobic. Oh, I knew that was coming. Ah. Snake! Snake! Come back, I want to destroy you! Yes! Although I didn't get the kill, it wasn't my bomb that finished him. I'm at the top. Oh! I knocked somebody down, but he's escaped! And the green is down. Saizu wins. Bombs, bombs, bombs! Ah! Green is down, but I'm down too. Wow, that was over quick. Lash Moo wins. 23 seconds. Wow. Okay, I'm in the bottom right corner this time. Oh no, he picked up the double bomb before I did. No. Ah! Yes, okay, we've got a little Louie. Free hit, basically. I can survive one. Somebody is gunning for me. Oh. No! Nice. It took out my Louie. <laughs> I'm in a bad place. Yeah. I was stuck between a skull and my own bomb. Oh, Saizu takes the second one. Saizu wins the game. In his Raiden outfit. Wow. Absolutely demolished there. Well done. The room is open again. Jump on back in. Turn special abilities on. Mix it up a touch. Yeah. Okay, everybody, jump on in. Starting to feed in now. Jump bomb. How are we doing? How's the chat going, guys? Everybody okay still? I 
Everyone still having a good time? What's your favourite character in the game so far, people? Those of you that have played it, who who do you think's the strongest character that you've seen? Seems like that Alucard's pretty tough. Um, the Simon Belmont and his ability to kind of whip away the bombs is good. Ryan reckons Pink all the way. Now, Pink is the one with the ability where she could shadow other people. Yeah, yeah she seems, seems pretty good. <clears throat> but I love the design of the characters in this. The Solid Snake one looks great. Raiden looks great. Bill and Lance look, look mental. Okay, if we got anybody else jumping in. Jump on. Much like my mother's bed, there's always room for one more. Hop on in. <clears throat> okay, we're going to give it about a minute. Give or take a few seconds. I think that will be enough time, and if not, we'll run with eight players. Speaking of time, I watched Bill and Ted 3 the other day. Fun movie. The trailer didn't do it justice. The trailer looked rough. But the actual movie, if you like Bill and Ted 1 and 2, you're going to really enjoy number 3. Um, it's, it's got a lot of callbacks to the first movies. Um, and it's just a really good feeling movie. It makes you feel happy watching it. You'd switch your brain off at the door, of course. You don't expect anything too cerebral from Bill and Ted. But if you want a fun run, then yeah, go watch it. Go watch Bill and Ted face the music. Well worth the money. Stadia Goat wants this music in Zoom meetings. You want to bop away to your Zoom meeting, huh? Okay, we've had about a minute. Let's get this show on the road. We're still rocking the Wasabi controller. We are still rocking Simon Belmont Bomber. Let's change it up. Let's go, uh, Naked Snake. Why not? I'm entering a mission. Is that David Hater's voice? Yeah, that is, isn't it? That's David Hater. Okay, good luck, people. Let's get myself comfy. Nah. Roll call, please. Oh, this level looks interesting. Oh, no! <laughs> it's done it again. We can't drop bombs. We cannot drop bombs, people. What I was gonna do. <laughs> Everybody okay? Everybody cool? So scary. 
No, it's beautiful statue. It's gone again. It's gone again. Never mind. We will just quit this game and restart, yeah? Okay, so let's restart. Let's quit the battle. Restart the room. Actual crowd play still on. Yeah. Seems like it's on still. Okay, let's add some more spaces. Yeah. Press the button too many times. We've got Grand Prix, where we can play in teams. Let's give that a go, shall we? Let's go for a, a Crystal Bomber. We've got some different levels. Multi-tiered levels. Nice. This could be fun. I think that one looks interesting. Let's give that a go. Thanks for stopping by, Roberto. I might stream again tomorrow. Depends how things go with work and whatnot. We might be doing some more, uh, some more crowd play tomorrow. Make sure you add me on Twitter and Facebook. Juggernaut on Twitter. Juggernaut Games on Facebook. That way I can let you know if I will be actually going ahead with the stream. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube as well, because I'll put it on the community page there too. Okay, so we've got a team of six. Let's go. Thanks for the subscription, Roberto. It's appreciated. I'll see you next time. Now it looks like we've got our two teams, three apiece. So it's myself, Jota3 and Wampa, versus Marco GLP, Lashmu and Chikoa. I'm going to go take this game. That is David Hater. They brought David Hater back to do the voice for this. Nice. They got Kiefer Sutherland to do uh, do the voice in Metal Gear Solid 5, but it's nice to know that they haven't cut ties completely with David Hater. Hater was Sonic Solid Snake. Okay, this one we have to complete point, compete points by getting crystals. Whoever, whichever team gets the most crystals wins the game. Oh, look at that Wampa with the backpack. Chico in with the backpack. I see we're, we're, we're in the top corner. Oh no, he blew himself up. One of my teammates is down. I won't slip up again. There's a crystal. What the heck is that? I'm being targeted for something. Uh, I don't know where I was there. Oh, 
Oh, you can walk on top of blocks as well. If they're on a lower tier than you, you can walk across them. Good to know, good to know. It's running low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then in the corner. Safer that way. Thanks for stopping by, Steady Ago. It's always appreciated, my friend. Take it easy. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Ten seconds. Who's got the most crystals? I don't even know anymore. Not me. The Reds have got almost all of them at the last minute. Oh. Oof. All change. Okay. Right, this requires a lot of teamwork. It may not look it, but it does. Because you don't want to blow up your teammates when they've got the crystals. So you have to go slow and steady. There are certain pickups that you can't collect. No, no, what have I done? No, sorry about that, buddy. Okay, Snake's ability doesn't seem to do much apart from make it invisible. Oh man, you. Oh my timers are rough. Okay, red team has got our number on this, look. Okay, drawing some back. Woo! I nearly walked right into that. Oh, nearly landed on a block. Or well, the block nearly landed on me, shall I say. Okay, protect what we've got. Protect what we've got, guys. We got a level sevener. Protect him with your life. Oh, I'm down. Uh, get out of it. Oh, I'm a dead ski. Jota, you're our hope. No! Jota! No, I couldn't escape. The red team have demolished us. Absolutely demolished. Well done, guys. Well played. Well played. That's a fun mode, too. All of the modes have been really, really good fun. So, Jerris says, When do you think Crowdplay will come officially? Since Dead by Daylight will also have Crowdplay Choice support and it's coming in September. Well, this has got Crowdplay Choice support doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be there on day one as we found out today um 
it seems like there are still a few little things that they're working on. I don't know for sure. I'm not affiliated with Google. I don't work for Google. I have no influence over when things come out publicly or not. Um, but I would say, just as an uneducated guess, and this is my opinion only, that it won't be too much longer. I, I don't think it will be too much longer because when it works, it works really, really, really well. However, as we've seen tonight, there are one or two hiccups that they need to iron out. Um, and they need to iron out things with mobile phones, etc. Um, and then they've got to activate YouTube accounts, so they have to roll out the YouTube Crowdplay feature to the YouTube side of things, as well as the Stadia side. And, and that doesn't happen overnight, so... I think you'll all be seeing it soon, but I, I wouldn't like to put a, a date on it. Whether it comes out in time for, you know, um, Dead by Daylight, I, I would like to see it. I would have liked to have seen it with this, but whether it actually happens or not, I guess we'll find out. One thing I will tell you, and one thing I, I do know, is that I was not asked to try crowd play um, choice. So I don't know if other testers on YouTube are playing that, but I know I wasn't offered the choice for that. So it could be that that feature is ready and other people are trying it, or it could be that that feature isn't ready for the prime time yet. Or it could be that they're deciding not to test it publicly and they're just gonna roll it out on day one with Dead by Daylight, who knows? Okay, Jota, you had a blast. <laughs> nice one. I'm glad you have fun. I uh, hope to see you on the next one. And I think, looking at the time, it's now a quarter to midnight, and I do have work very early in the morning. I think we'll call this game the last one. So let's go... To Battle 64. No, no, let's stick with this. Let's stick with standard. Because, yeah, 64 mode, we need a few more players than 8, really, to, to make the most out of it. Otherwise, we'll have a lot of empty rooms. So let's stick with standard old school random level. We've got 8 players. Let's do this thing. Last game of the night, guys. Good luck. Let's play and have fun. And that will make it four hours of streaming. I think. I think that's not bad for a work night. Not bad at all. I've got to pack this away yet. Yeah? Pack the old green screen up. I've got an Elgato one that that kind of rolls down, so it's not not fixed into place. And it does the job quite amicable. I, I quite like it. Combined with the Elgato key light, that makes my face look all purdy. Because if I turn the light off, the green screen just falls apart. Look. But there it is. We go real dark without that key light. So we'll turn it back on. And let's get this show on the road. Good luck. Final game of the evening. Wow, there are massive holes. That's not good. This is scary. I'm not so scary anymore. I really do need some power up. Oh no! What did I do that for? Been a long day. A very exciting one. Oh, couldn't get out in time. Green, I'm feeling mean. Yay, I 
come back in the game. Now we're just going to run and get those power-ups. Oh, this is going to be bad when the screen starts to shrink. Oh! God, that's a flame and a half, Wampa. Nicely done. Good range of power ups. I'm just gonna make sure I don't get complacent. I just got complacent. That was really, really dumb. Yeah, my brain switched off for the evening, I think, people. <laughs> I knew it was a mistake the moment I walked up there. But it's too late at that point. Come on, green. I got my eye on you, boy. Yeah, there we go. I'm back in. Just say my straw is bendy. Oh, my strength is failing. Not my spoon is bendy. <laughs> my spoon is bendy. What the fuck? I'm going to just call it My Spoon is Bendy from now on, I think. It's so much cooler. Hey! No! In the Shadows takes one. People are killing themselves. Saves me the effort, really. I'll kill myself later. Oh, here come the revenge carts. This is problems. Snake! Die! No, somebody else killed him. I'm not going to get back in the game in time, am I? No. Oh yes, I'm back in. I managed to sneak a kill. The revenge cards are gone. It's just me and Psycho Bunny. Psycho Bunny is gone. Oh, why did I take this slow down? I'll get another one, it's fine. Oh, he was so lucky. No. No. Okay, buddy boy. You're going down. Maybe not. Maybe I should go for the Psycho Chainsaw Killer. Okay, so we got Beep Boop versus Wampa. Wampa needs this win to win the whole thing. Beep Boop is looking for his first. Oh, 
down, Beep Boop is down. Wampa wins. Oh no, Beep Boop wins. Sorry, it was Wampa that lost. Okay. But there were several of us with one on the board. We're all vying for that vital second one. Ah, oh, killed him, but I killed myself. No! I would say it's all part of the plan, but it's not. <laughs> I'll be lucky if I get the revenge. Oh, time is nearly up for revenge. Revenge would be oh so sweet, but it's looking unlikely. Right, it's unlikely. Who's going to take it? It's Wampa and in the shadows. Wampa again. It's vying for a second win. The Louis are gone. It's just mano a mano. Oh, in the shadows. Well done. You get the last win of the night. Congratulations. So now we return to the room and I will start switching off the crowd play. Because that is it for the evening, I'm afraid. GG, I could get number two, yeah. Good, for, good, good game. We had a good time. Let me just uh, switch over to my main camera one second. Oh, where's my face gone? No, that is the wrong one. It's this one. There we go. I'm in Bomberman. Why not? Why not indeed? Well, guys, I hope you have had fun playing this game. I hope that you've really enjoyed playing crowd play with me. Because I've had a really good time with you guys playing this. Um, I'm so pleased that we had a couple of guests come into chat. Konami, we've had we've had Google watching as well. Um, I really appreciate all the support, and I really appreciate you coming and spending a bit of your evening with me and having a f having a bit of fun playing playing some classic gameplay with a fresh new lick of paint that makes it all the more exciting with 64 players. Super Bomberman R Online would be worth it at full price. But giving it away with Pro, mm, so good. So good value. Pro of £8 a month. Get so many decent games out there with it now. This is the icing on the cake. And I've really, really loved licking that icing with you guys. <laughs> anyway, it is nearly midnight. I have work in a few hours. I have got to bid you all adieu. And leave the game for now and leave the stream but as i say tomorrow if work goes well we might do another stream tomorrow night okay but until then thank you for stopping by i really appreciate the support and i would really appreciate it if you did me that that big favor you know i'm a lonely guy i really just need somebody to reach out and touch my bell end subscribe to me ring that bell Ring it, please. That way you'll get notified whenever I go live, whenever I release a new video, whenever I'm playing retro games or crowd play or whatever. Whatever I'm doing on YouTube, you will be notified. Well worth touching a dingling for. And until next time, people, I hope you've had a good night. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and I look forward to seeing you soon. All right? Take care for now. Bye.